Happy Tuesday. <laughs> you are listening to Real Talk with Karen Stacy live on MiamiMikeRadio.com. And <clears throat> sitting here with me is Mr. Anthony Mangini. Self, uh, actually, he, he calls himself my 19th favorite DJ. Um, <clears throat> and we are doing a pop-up show at Noma Social, One Radisson Plaza in New Rochelle, New York. And we are up in the VIP section. So for any of our people that are in the area, and we are here now, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., come on up, come see us, come grab a drink at the bar, and come hang with us. Um, <clears throat> we're in the VIP because we're always VIP over here, right? <laughs> That's MMR. We're always VIP. So, hi, Anthony. Hello, Karen. <clears throat> How you doing, sweetheart? I'm good. I would kiss you, but I just had um, the, the octopus in purgatory, and I, I don't want to make your hair, like, messed up. <laughs> Thank you for that, Karen. <laughs> Are we good? We're good. Okay, because I hear... I see me there, so I we're good. Myself, I'll shut it off. Yeah, I hear myself. I'm sorry. On, yeah, I'll we shut it, it off. Okay, there we go. See, we're all good now. All right, so Anthony, say hello to everybody. Hello. Um, hi. Hi. I'm nervous. I'm sorry. Hi, Anthony. He is such a humble guy, I got to tell you. What a humble guy. He's sitting here, and he's trying to make sure everything is absolutely perfect. And, you know, I realize that as much as Anthony is in the public eye... You know, you're you're a behind the scenes. I'm behind the scenes type guy. of thing. Yes, but but you but everybody watches you do what you do. So you're always being watched. So you know, it, it, it's different for you because you're not used to watching yourself. No, I'm not used to. That's this. what I mean. No, I did I it think, once with you before. Yes, but it's not like that's what you're not used to because you're you're used to you're you're the star of the show. Everybody comes out to hear you play music. Well, not just me. There's always there's a lot there's a lot of people that of that course. have everything to do with all that I do. It's, it's, it's not course. just me. Of course, you know, but I'm saying that that's you're you are. You know, you're you are front and center, but in a different. I guess you know your comfortability is, well, is in a different I'm, place. I'm, I'm in, a, in an area playing music. I'm not right. really in um in the public thing. Like I, I don't. But you are because we're all watching you. I know, but you're watching. <laughs> you're watching me doing the music thing. It's not like I'm sitting here talking to somebody. I understand. That's what I'm saying. That's what makes me a little nervous. I understand. And you know what? You you did great. Our last show, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. Right, so you're you're gonna be, you're don't be nervous. I promise I won't hurt you. I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm, I'm good there. I'm all right. I'm comfortable. I'm you're my girl. You're my friend. Of you know course. what I'm saying? So I'm comfortable. That's why I said, look, last week I was gonna do this. Yep. Um, my sister, her 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 twins graduated from middle school, and I really wanted to be there. I really wanted to be there, and um, I knew by the time it was over, it wouldn't wouldn't work out. And I, I just, uh, I canceled. I don't usually cancel on anything. And it I canceled. Happens. I know. It was definitely a last minute uh, type of thing. But, um, you know, we made it work and Dory came and filled in for you. Yes, thank you, Dory. <coughs> Dory thank came you. and I filled in Dory. for you. Dory's I love Dory. Dory's a friend of mine. Everybody wanted to kill themselves last week because, you know, we were talking about, uh, you know, some... You know, we were talking about being a widow and raising Oh, that's children. right. Both yeah, of you guys it, were in it, that same boat. A, I'm it, sorry. It was Both a, you. yeah, it was yeah. not, um, you know, but this is what the show is about, right? We should, we want to talk about things that um, a lot of people don't want to talk about sometimes, you know? So I think it's good to, for other people to know, you know, what other people, like for instance, when, when we had you on the show the first time. Everybody that loved you loved you more after the show. Like, I mean, because they learned who you were more so. You know, everybody knows who Anthony the DJ is, but they didn't know who Anthony the man was, you know. And when you shared, you know, how you, you know, growing up and, and you know, the tragedy with your, your family, you know, that... Show that that makes us who yeah, that's we right. are. That's right. I shared all that. That's you right. shared a lot with us, and it, you know, it it makes you who you are. The man you are today is because of all of that, you know, that you went through, and um, you know, you have so many people that are your biggest supporters, and then when they heard your story. Um, you know, I think that it resonated, you know, with them, and and they loved you that much more. 
I, I listen. I, I everyone that, that supports my music and supports when I'm on on MMR, yep. when I'm at a party or whatever I do, and there's so many people that that always come out and yep. religiously come out. Um, that's humbling to me. That, that, that listen, I'm 49 years old, and people that still like to hear my music and come out and hear my music is 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 humbling to me. That's, yeah. that's amazing. That's some that's it's awesome. It, other than my family. The, the music is is everything to me and, and it's always been that since I was 12 years old you know again I'm 49 and, and it, it's something that it means a lot to me you know and doing parties and, and throwing parties like last weekend's party I'm going to give you an example last weekend with um, Cynthia and Lizette to have something like that and to have people be able to come and enjoy that for free so you did we, we had an album release party here correct? yes they, they have a new track out it's um Listen L-I-S-C-Y-N Lizette Melendez and Cynthia um, songs called I Can't Change Your Mind and we had their record release party and it came about one night Sal Abatello and I were talking we were originally it was supposed to be May May's birthday party right I remember that we was going to throw a birthday party I always told her I'll throw you your own birthday party right uh, that's how that worked out right and I said to her I'd throw her her birthday party and I was just texting with Sal and you know and all of a sudden it was it was late you know and, and um, you know give me price on Cynthia give me price on Lizette me, I just want to have an act for her and he came up with the idea of having cool their idea. record release party here yeah so I know Sal said Saturday you know, I bothered at 3 o'clock in the morning it was, it was that was a, a, a that wasn't the case we were on the phone and he's like oh let's do their part so that's how it came about he spoke to both of the girls and they agreed okay um, and they agreed and we did it and Sal said, I'm hosting, I'll, and, 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 you know, how could you say no to something like that? Yeah, yeah. And then I went and reached out to um, the other DJs and, and whatnot, and everybody said yes right away, and that's how the record release party happened on Saturday. And it was something, to me, it was something that meant a lot to me, because I've known Cynthia and I've known Lizette since I was young. You know, I've known Cynthia probably since I was, what, 18 maybe? 19. From, from DJing and playing their music. Yes, from playing their music and me having them come perform their songs in the club. Right, okay. So we got to know each other. Um, Cynthia is one of the most sweetest pe- people in the whole world. I love Cynthia. Um, um, she's just a great person. Uh, Lizette the same way. Mm-hmm. Lizette the same way. You, you saw that by Lizette when Glenn Frisch and I, we had our birthday party here in February. Oh, that's right. And She came... came her and Eddie B. Swift came and came on the stage and wanted to do that. You know, that's 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 something that's real. That's that's something yep. that you know you don't get. You know, listen. A lot of people put the word DJ in front of their name. Right. A lot of people put the word DJ in front of their name. And and listen, I I usually if you look on the flies, I usually the flies that I make, I usually just put Anthony Mangini. I've always have. Yeah. You know, the DJ is, is something that's earned. Like a DJ Little Louis Vega, DJ David Morales, DJ Junior Vasquez. You know. DJ Hex Hector, you know, like those guys are like the people that I look up to. You know, Glenn Frischer is my my personal DJ idol. Right. Know? He doesn't put DJ in front of his name. Right. He's one of the most humble men I've ever met in my life. You know, he doesn't like, he's like me, he doesn't like the spotlight, he doesn't like, he doesn't like, you know, just go play music that makes people dance. And that's, that's, that's pretty much how, how, how I, I, I look at things. Right. You, you give people something and, and I always said from back in 2015, I, I took a, seven year break playing music I moved to Florida I was done I was like I don't want to play music anymore and uh, Louis Nutrella put me on to Eddie Tagome who no matter what anyone thinks of me I love Eddie with all my heart so he put me on to him and it made me want to play music again you know Which it made awesome. me it made me want to play music it made me get you know now now it's Inspired, a controller right? now, now everyone sees Anthony play on this little controller that's what I like to play on you know uh, listen, I'd love to play on three turntables and have a lot of fun. We did that one time at Hudson Social. We had two as turntables. in real records. Yes. Yes, I remember when you did that. At Hudson Social. They were, you, it was vinyl. Me and Serge, yep. Yes. Vinyl. Yep. Yeah. We yep. did that. We're gonna do something like that again. That's... We're gonna do that with Glenn because Glenn's records are all the white label written on rec- same records wow. I got. But it, yeah, it's the craziest records. It's the most amazing record collection you'll ever wow. meet. Right, and then we can video that, and then we can show it to the kids that never saw a record they don't in know their a rec- life. My daughters <laughs> don't know what a record is. They really? Don't. No, no. No. And they didn't see him in the house or anything, like you know. No, from they you? don't really. I don't really have any. I I got when I like I said when I said I stopped. I got rid of the vinyl. I said I'm oh. done. And oh, there's no okay. vinyl records. The only vinyl record I have right now is um the the one that Lizette gave me on Saturday. 
and she autographed it to me for the. And they actually make them like I mean not to sound stupid, but they they make an actual vinyl record yes. still. Yeah, yeah. There's still okay. in certain projects they make them. Okay. So that's, I don't that's, even know. Does anybody own a turn? I mean, besides a DJ, I don't know that anybody. I don't own a turntable. Owns anymore. a turn. Yeah. So I, I use a controller. It's a simple little controller, and I like it. And I like I'm good at it. I play well on it, and that's what I like to play on. Like if you ever look at the setup. I have a little simple controller that I play on, and all the other DJs will play on something else. And, Gotta do what works. Yeah, and and that, that's what works for me. Yeah, you know. There and, you go. Listen, and back, you know, you know the laptops and all the, the funky laptops. You know. Yep. Everybody made fun of me one night. Oh right, had, because your laptop cracked out. I had, to, I had, out, a, right? I had a little. No, not even that. I had a little Dell laptop. That I used to play oh, the music on, okay. and they were all making fun of me because they had these beautiful laptops yeah. and these big things. Yeah. And, and and you know my thing was you know my music's going to speak for itself tonight. You can break my balls all you right. want, right? And it shut them all up quick, right? They all they all that it that whole thing came to a a stop, you know. And going back to Saturday really fast. Saturday meant the world to me to do this and and to do that with with and have my friends around me. Listen, Serge. Was at a wedding. He didn't show up. He was at a wedding, and um, he, uh, you know, it, it was late, and I was like, just, he's like, I'm going to go home. Okay, you know, listen, the man, the man did four or five different weddings himself that day. Yeah. From place to place to place. Plus, his company had a, a ginormous amount of parties that day. You know, Miami Mike had a family issue um, with his son, oh, an sorry, emergency yeah, with yeah. his son, and he couldn't come. You know, and listen, he explained it to me, and. Uh, you know, Miami Mike wasn't here, so he was well missed. So was Serge. Sure. But the party went on. You have to put the party on. Yeah. And we did it. We did it. Uh, I missed Mike a lot. Sure. I'll be honest, because Mike course. is um, Mike's Mike. When we do these things, he's your other half. He's my yeah. He's yeah. my right hand because yeah. he's he he deals with the artist, the yeah. shows, the whole thing. Yeah. And um, that's the, you know Mike is that's how we do things. Yep. And just to be clear on everything I'm saying tonight, without. Any, any, everything we do, there's one person who is in a lot of like control and, and does so much for everything I do, and I love him with all my heart. Tony Sinappi. Um he is to me one of one of the greatest human beings I've ever really got to meet and know, and I, I love that man mm. with all my heart. You know, um, he came in between a wedding Saturday yeah. to bring me the control that I needed. Yep. You know, because that was yep. part of the deal here at Noma that I have to supply what I want to play on. They'll supply sound and whatnot. And, and Tony went above and beyond. Came after his wedding. Not only did he come, I was like, "You got to play." <laughs> he played, and that's when I got the groups. And he, and he ran the groups, the shows. I mean, Tony Sinappi is. Um, how can I explain it? He's he's the man in Miami Mike Radio. He's he's the guy who throws. He's the guy who makes our shows what they are. The Miami Mike Radio events, and listen, we're in our house tonight. This is Noma. This is our house. You know, we, we look at this place as our house. Um, it's we're treated as such here. There wasn't a question asked. Yes. You know. When for us to do it tonight. Well, what 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 happened was was that. You know, last week, like Anthony said, he was going to come on the show, and he wanted to talk about the party that happened. I, yes, that was. Last I wanted week. to talk about Thursday. Thursday. I wanted to talk about. Yep. I wasn't allowed to work anywhere on Friday because we do Saturday. When I do Saturdays here, I'm not allowed to work anywhere on Friday. Okay. And um, I'm allowed to do Thursday, and I'm allowed to do Sundays. They're a little iffy with Sunday, but it, 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 you know, listen, it's a business, and you want to have exclusivity Absolutely. with it, and. Yeah, I want right to talk about. I want. I want to talk about what was going on. What was going on? Right. That's what I want to do. Right. And you know what? I'm not going to lie. Being with my sister last week meant the world to me. You know, to see my my nephew and my niece graduate. My sister has twins, and a lot of people out there know Beth. Um, to be able to see that and sit there, and I didn't want to have to sit there. And I said it to you. I don't want to have to sit there. I don't want to have to rush. Right. I don't want to have to. No, because to, then you got Ajita. Like you wait, you can't even enjoy the moment. I, you know what? When we said you said you were you were gracious with that, you know. I understand. And I enjoyed every minute with that. And we wound up. We wound up. We went out for dinner afterwards. We hung out, had a few drinks. A few people wound up meeting us, and we hung out till I believe it was almost three o'clock in the morning. 
Oh my. Yeah, we um we had a it was it was a great night. It was a, we, you know what? my sister Beth's a lot of fun. She's one of the most anyone who knows her. She's she's just a great human being. She's a lot of fun to be. You've been around her. She's she's, she's hence she's I remember like that one thing light. with you. Yeah, she's like she's like a ray of light. She well, really everybody is. asked me when when they see me. Is your sister coming? Is your sister yeah. coming? That's yeah. how it always goes. <laughs> I know. You know, and um, where's Beth? Where yeah, is, is Beth coming? <laughs> yeah. So to me, the only reason why they ask that is because you guys are a dynamic duo. That's yeah. why. They, yeah, she's they the want crazy Batman and Robin. Beth Beth Mangini is the crazy Mangini. I'm the normal one. Always remember that, please. Okay, that's your story, and you're sticking to it. Yeah, bingo, <laughs> bingo. So again, back back to Tony Snappy. I don't mean to jump around because I'm not used to doing this. I know you're so jumping you know. around a little bit. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll, um, I'll, I'll I just want to I just want to give praise to where praise is due, and what he does for the production part. Of Miami Migrated. Not only do I have his, his show on Miami Migrated, but right. what he does for us and what he does for me personally, it doesn't go unnoticed. Um, I, I love, you know what? I got to hang out with him on Sunday, and that, that was another thing I'll you talk guys, about. Yeah. But being in his presence and, and being around him, I love it. He makes things easy for me. Like he says, like, he, like look, I do that with Serge. Because sometimes right. Serge, if Serge is doing a big a wedding, he's got a lot going right. on. And I'm, I'm, listen, he puts me to work with him a lot of times. Right. And it's not to play music. It's not to uh, host. I'm with him and I'm doing, whether it's lights. Right. Um, helping with the setup, which sometimes the setup, you know, he has a lot sure, going on. He has fire and all he has, that he stuff. Has, he, has, he, has, he has fireworks. He has, um, you know, the lighting he has yep. is pretty intense. Yeah. He has, and then he has, you know, Videographer, video, videographers. Yep. Video, the video people. Yeah, video. They want to tap into his system. Right. Then he has, he'll have a drummer, he'll have a violinist and, a, and a, an accordion at the same time. They all want to tap into his system and come out into his system, and he knows that I can make that happen with, with, and he throws me on a lot. And another, you know, we'll talk about Surge as we go on, but I just wanted to give Tony Snappy the props that I do, especially with this radio station with MiamiMigRadio.com. Um, he is, he is. You have no idea what he does. Oh, I do. I've seen it. I mean, and I've you've been, been here, here when we set up at four thirty as we're doing in the that. morning, and he's. But you've been here early up. too as we're oh, setting that's stuff yeah, up. No, I mean from start to yes. finish, he'll come here like you said in between whatever. Well, he did it, that up. was this yes this week. Well, I'm but saying usually usually how he's this here goes. Early. Usually we're here. Like anyone that thinks, oh, you just go there right. and play. It no, doesn't early. work that way. You guys are here. We, early. we were usually here. This this time it was five, but usually Normally you're early it's three that. o'clock in yeah. the afternoon. Yeah. And we make sure everything's listen. Everything worked out. Worked out perfect. It sounded great. It looked great. Um. But usually it's three o'clock because yep. my on my end I like to be able to relax a little bit. Because yep. I'm always stressed. I want everything to be perfection. And well, you don't want to run into a problem on the the eleventh hour, you know. So that's the thing is that you got to map it all out because if you end up with a problem and it's your it's showtime, how are you going to fix it? So you have to. Do well, you got to do it early. Listen, you you got to prepare. Prepared. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you have to be prepared, and we've always anywhere we are, of any course. any place we've ever been, we always try to put on the best show we possibly can, and sound wise, visually, um, you know. It, we we right, that's what we try. Pleasing, of course. Well, I mean, but what I'm, you know, people don't realize that you, especially when you do the whole thing, you're in charge of all of it. It's not. There's very few places that a DJ can just walk in and plug in their equipment and go. You know, I mean, very few. I mean, there are depending. There are. On I mean, with me, with me, there are. There is a lot of that with me. I mean, I get to go to a lot of places and, and play and just plug in, play, and you know, I don't have to deal with any setup. You go, you plug, you do your show. But, with but when I come events, here. Listen, I consider Noma Social my house. Right. Um, for MMR events, I know Miami Mike feels the same. Um, for our events, this is our house. Yeah. And we've never, we've never given a show that anyone walked out and said, "Oh man, that was didn't sound right." Or, oh, right. you never, you know, you know, oh man, that no. sucked. Or no. you know, it didn't. Right. You know, we always try to give the best show you could give because that's course. that's what it's about, in yeah. my opinion. Of you know, course. and especially listen back back in 2015 when me and Louie, when I first got on Birthday Blowout. Yep. It was a conversation with me and Louie Nutrella. It was, I don't know, another late conversation. And we were talking. He's like, you know, it'd be great if, you know, you'd come and play. I was like, you know what, I'll do it. He's like, hold on. Comes back, he goes, you're on the fly. Now you got to do it. So that's how the first thing started with that, with Birthday Blow, with Louie. Huh, 
That's know, interesting. And I was on the flyer, and, and again, that was a duo, and um, that was insane. I mean, I don't think they've ever done that many people before. Or since then, anyway. Upstairs and down, you couldn't put a person in there. It was nine. It was eleven degrees outside. We'll never forget it. Oh, at, at duos in yes. Yonkers. And Louis Nutrella. I'm gonna. I'll talk about Louis really fast. Louis. Louis is another huge part of everything we do. You know, listen. Being a supporter of something you do is one thing, but Louis goes above and beyond for what we do. You know, Louis. Louis like the mayor to me. Louis a great oh, friend of mine. hundred percent. You know, Louis last night. You know, he called me. You know, let's go out. And you know, they wanted to go and hang out last night. They wanted to go out and hang out last night. And I was like, you know, I, I was tired. I was very tired last night. And I said no. You know, sometimes, you know, I said no. You, you said no? I said no to go out. Oh, last wow. Night. Well, I'm like, but Louis uh, Nutrella is another okay? one. Are you okay? Do you feel okay? I'm good today. Okay. All right. You, <laughs> you were saving yourself for me. You, you didn't want to cancel on me again. I wasn't canceling on you tonight. You I didn't told want you. It. I didn't want to cancel this, but I, I you know. understood. But listen, I said the next time you were in New York, you were mine. And I'm here. And I didn't even have to pull you in. You you reached out to me. I, re- I reached out last week. I said I wanted you to You reached this. out both times, but you reached out to me, and I and I said I had something tentative. I'll do it another time. Yes. So I so, appreciate that. So like I'm, I'm saying with Louis, you know, everything I do, if you ever notice, it has his name on it. Most of the stuff. Oh, yeah. Unless I'm okay. working for different promoters. Right. When I do my own stuff or we're doing MMR production stuff, it always involves Louie. You know, like when I play at Havana Cafe, that, that's not, I'm not the promoter there. The promoter hires us to play and we go there and play. Again, you plug and play. And, and I mean, last week anyone who went to that spot, that, shit, that was fucking bananas. Yeah, it looked busy. It was with Tonasia, Joey Salvatore. We, that place was, listen, when you, when you have a spot that closes at 2 and you close at 3, you, you know, you're doing the right thing. Man. Absolutely. You know, it was a fun night. But again, with Louis, everything I do, it's always part of what, you know, he's always part of it, you know, and, and he's a huge part of it. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot. There, there's if, if I actually sat here and told you the people that are behind the scenes to make a party happen that I'm involved in, you'd be shocked. There's so many people that are behind the scenes. And, and you know what? And I, I'm, I'll go down to the people that hit the share button. I was just about to say, just just like you know, the, our listeners that are so loyal and share these. Well, the things, listeners and they, the loyal, the loyal people that listen. We just have two people that just walked yeah, in. I know that are my close friends and my personal friends. You know, little Deli and Jessica just walked in. Um, okay. We're gonna put them on. Yeah. In a little bit. No, no. But no, you know, you're, you're, you're like definitely, to, you're definitely gonna go on here. If I'm, listen, a, if I'm sitting here, you're me. coming on. Y- yes, go okay. grab her. Um, <laughs> That's inspiration. So, oh, dear Lord. Just, just yeah. don't walk around the club with her. I won't. Um, there's so many people, like, just hit, someone hitting the share button. Absolutely. And listen, our crew is is huge. Right. And, and what a blessing it is to have that and to have loyal stand up people that are behind you. You know, that's, that's it's so humbling to me. It, it just, you know, it, it gets me a little bit. But that that end of it. Mm-hmm. But then again, you know, again you have the crew, but then you have the crew that puts on the show. Sure. It's behind the scenes with the show. You know, you have people like Mike 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 Ancelone. You know, you have people like him right. who was a huge part of what we did up in Villa Barone Hilltop Manor. We could talk about that as we go too, because I want I want to talk about that because that's another special thing I'm involved in. Yep. With the comedy, you know, meets freestyle. That's yep. that's an amazing thing. Um but there's so many people, and I, and I always go to the to the head of the table on that end of it is Tony, Tony Sinappi. I'll I'll, I'll 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 go, I'll go that he's the head, he's the um, he's uh, he's the head of the table when it comes to that, you know. And again, there's so many people, you know, Mike, like everyone's everyone's hands on. And when I'm doing a show, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm very very. Meticulate, meticulant, meticulous, meticulous. Sorry, that's okay. Um, I was gonna say I'm anal about everything. That's I, what I want to say. I, that would I, be I, a better word. I want to say that I, that I listen. Everything has to be perfection. It, it has does. to go off without a hitch. Yep. And, and and any any show you do, there's always hiccups. Of course, there's always a hiccup somewhere. Right. And the best part is the crowd never knows when we have a hiccup. Right. And any we just. No one knows. That's you know, showbiz. That's, that's, well, listen, we're doing it on a very small scale, but the scale we do it on, to me, means the world. Right. You know, and again, people listening, I don't know if we have any, usually I have minus viewers, 
that are Stop watching. Such a you should be happy if you have if you have two or three. You should be happy. Well, you and you nice. guys are listening to Real Talk with Karen Stacy live on MiamiMikeRadio.com, and sitting next to me is Anthony Mangini, and we are at Noma Social, uh, One Radisson Plaza in New Rochelle, New York, and uh, we are up in the VIP section because we're family, so we're all VIP, and actually two of our Dear friends came to visit. Um, we have Jessica and Leanne here. Little Deli in the building. Uh, and and you get to do that later. Can, when you, can come you, you can can you you can you come sit and say hello? Sure. Come say hi. Oh, wait, I'm moving over. No, you're not I'm so freaking nervous. She's sitting next to me because then she can. Uh, yeah. He's very nervous? nervous because he's not used to this. He's not used to being in the camera like this. He's used to, you know, playing and behind the scenes and not talking. knowing that everybody's watching him. Yeah. <laughs> so he's been. He wanted to make sure. He, camera, camera one, camera two. Remember Wayne's World? Camera one, camera yeah. two. Camera one, camera two. Was that Wayne's? Hi, little Wayne's Deli. Day, right? Hi, Aunt. Hi, baby. What's going on? How you doing, honey? Good. How are you? Good. See, she can't. Hey, three man genie, baby. See, she's yeah. the mix master. <laughs> She See, was, you know, again, it's people like like them that that, that look, look. We'll hang out privately. We go out to eat afterwards. We hang out privately. So it's you know, and with everybody. I mean, most of the crew. I mean, I, I love being around people. So mm-hmm. I'm a people person. I'm not really a camera person, but I'm a people person. You do. You know. Good. Thank you. You do. Thank you. I think once you get in the zone and you just start talking, you it, your well, mind kind of blocks all that out. I have to kind of out. pull him in. <laughs> what I love about Anthony is that, like, when he tells a story, he's just, like, so Passion. into it. Yes. And, like, everything else just blocks out. You're like, wait, 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 let me finish. Like, nobody could cut you off. Wow. You're just, like, in the zone. Well, no, listen, when, when, when I'm with the crew, no one is allowed to cut me off. When I speak, I when I speak nobody speaks. What's that? E- e- I'm e- kidding. Or I'm what's kidding. The, what was that commercial <laughs> the, uh, with the, the lawyer? Oh, or could we not grab my boobs? Um, e. I didn't Hutton, grab your boobs. When, no, she didn't. Oh. Um, E.F. Hutton, when, the, everybody, when, when they people talk, talk they, when E.F. Hutton talks, talks people, people listen. listen. Something, there you go. So there you go. Well, just Aunt, aged yourselves. Anthony, did we just age ourselves? That's all right. I already said how old I am. So I have no problem. We're the same age. 49. Yeah, me too. When are you going to be 50? April 18th. Remember? I'm February. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to have a couple That's birthdays right. there. February. Yep. Cause you're I'm like... February also. Mike, when is your birthday? February 26th. That's right. We had your birthday here yeah. last year. I was part no. of the... the, the no, this year. My I was birthday. Part of it. My birthday. Your birthday you? thing. You added me to it. Didn't I? I and did, then right? you were at um, Hudson, at Hudson, Hudson Social. Hudson Social. We, we was, too, we, that Sunday. Yes, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. fun. I love Hudson Social. I love Hudson Social. We're going to do something back there again before Linda and uh, Dom sell that place. I think they're getting rid of it, but we got to do something over there. Hmm. I love Hudson Souls. I like that with the two floors. I mean, one of, the, one of the greatest nights I've ever played there was April a few years ago, and upstairs and downstairs, packed. That was banging. Yes. That was a lot of fun. You were there. there. We were there. We were there. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Move over a little, Deli. You can't see it in the picture. Yeah, come. You got to come closer. It looks weird. The camera's backwards. This is like oh, not my bad. good side. Uh oh. We got to. I literally gotta have to sit right like that because it's my better side. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> All right, we're trying here. We're trying to get everybody in, but you know, you just needed to be here because then I, you, they can hear you on the, the microphone. Okay. You got to go testing, testing. Is this no? Let's not. Working? Let's not. Please, let's calm down. <laughs> So let's all just take it down a notch. We're gonna do that again. We're like right here. I think we gotta bring it to like right here. Um, I think we're good. We're fine. We're having a good time, right? Yeah. I would say so. I um, think we're good. Are so you, are you, did you take a deep breath yet? I'm okay. No, I haven't. <laughs> I, know, I really haven't breathed like, out yet. I'm okay. I haven't really breathed right. out yet. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm, you should exhale. It's good to exhale. Breathe in. Oh. I'm like I don't like, and I keep looking here. That's what's killing me. I know. You don't look over there. Look at me. Look into my eyes. Or down at my boobs. Yeah, perfect. Oh, that's all. She knew to wear a shirt with no cleavage that's tonight with me. Oh, you damn skippy. She knew. She go. I'm surprised she ain't got a fucking turtleneck on. <laughs> if I wear a turtleneck, my boobs look bigger, actually. Yeah, then they look I, 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 And they I, have, I, they, they I, too I, much. It emphasizes it know. too much. You can't. You can't do that. Anybody even watching us? Yeah, no, there's, there's nobody watching bumps. us. Nobody loves us. Tina DeMeo, I love you, girl. Can I, I, can I shout out for people? You. You can do a shout I out. love you. I love Tina DeMeo with all my heart. I'm guest bartending with her Friday at the Corner Pocket. How cool is that? 
<laughs> really? They should yeah. have me DJ there. Oh. No, I'm doing something. I'm, no, I'm, I am, but I'm Tony's doing something. Tony's I am gonna doing be there. something at uh, Molino's. Friday? It's a private stuff. Serge, Serge sort of um, wrote me in. I'm doing. I'm actually. You know, like, tomorrow. To tomorrow, I'm out in Long Island. Um, Thursday, I'm doing a, a something I've always wanted to do. And when he said it to me, uh, something I always I've always wanted to do is like Fourth a, of July. Thursday. A, it's a. It's the Fourth of July. If I wasn't gonna go home, um, something I've always wanted to do is an outdoor pool party, like at someone's home. Fun. Oh, pool party. Fun. So, I'm not gonna say whose house it is. Um, do we know them? I believe we do. I'm doing an outdoor pool party and Suave's performing. So Very dope. That's sick <laughs> on the 4th of July. That's and it, awesome. it's, 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 you know, people, they're, they're invites. So it's not like an open to the public. And it's right. just me playing music, Suave. So that's something I've wanted to do for a very long time. I'll be very nice. honest. And I, I, there was, if one time we actually did something that we, we offered, we would do that um, for a friend of mine. It was, um, she got hurt. And if they, someone donated a big amount of money, we would do it. Nice. But, but once she reached the goal, I was like, okay, that's that. You know, we, but we all agree. Believe it or not, Serge, me, and Eddie all agree to do it for her. Cool. But, but, but this is something I've wanted to do. I, I'm, I'm excited for this. I'm excited to go I know, I hear it. outside I see in it. someone's I hear home. It. Live. In somebody's home. And, and then my brother Suave is coming at some point. He's like, yeah, well, it's you and then Suave. I was like, wait. In somebody's pool in their backyard? He's like, yes. I'm like, I'm in. I'm staying. It's dope. Yeah, so that's I love you, sir. We'll talk about sir as we go on. And you're gonna see fireworks while that's mm-hmm. happening too. So that's gonna be a really cool backdrop. You know? Yes. That'll well, I don't know about I don't, I don't know what kind of fireworks. See, well, you'll see them. It's you know, they have that. Wait, wait, wait. They, listen, from what I understand, uh-huh. again they, they're having us come there. Right. So I am. Assuming. And they have Suave coming there, so they have their own fireworks. They have fireworks. Yeah, yeah. That's not. Well, of course. They, it's a. It's a. It's. It's. It's it's gonna be a lot of fun. Sounds like it. Maybe we should all crash the party. A, red, white, blue speedo? a mm. speedo? She wants you to wear a red, white, and blue speedo while you. Me? Think. It was a joke. Not, not me. Yeah, you. Well, you. Not me. So back up. To, let's go back to <laughs> Tina. Let's go back to Tina DeMeo. I love her. I love I her with all my heart. Oh my God, what a great too. time we had Sunday. I got. I didn't really see her this weekend. I saw her Sunday. Um, we did something really special. I was a guest DJ with. A, a, a person, a person that I really idolize, and, and Dennis Chalala. He's awesome. He's his his music and his production is something that yeah. I listen. That's I awesome. support it. Um, I've known Dennis a very long time, and they have they do, get there with Joey C and do that. They've been playing together for like twenty seven years, and I was there a little later. Tony had to do Coliseum. I went up there a little later, and. Tina DeMeo was there with, with her friends, uh, Liz, um, Mel Nitti, Christine Cabozzi, Cabozzi, I, I think I said it wrong, I think she corrected me, um, Kathy Sokowski, Tony, it was me, Tony, it was me, Tony, um, and these guys were the headline, it was not headline, it was, they, it was their show, it was, it was Dennis and Joey C, and I've known these guys, and one of, the, one of the best pictures I have all weekend of those four, and I put it up on my Facebook and what an honor to work with them, you know, and just be around them. Bar t- bartenders that were there, I knew from Marty and Lenny's. My friend Myron, a New Rochelle, yeah. a New Rochelle PD in the building, yeah. um, he came through to say hello to me. I've, I've, loved, I've known that man since I was a young kid at Marty and Lenny's. And he's always a, f- a, a friend. He's always done right with me. I've always been cool with him. And he, he comes to Noma a lot to see me play. He was there. Like I said, the bartenders from Marty and Lenny's, Tina and her crew. There were so many people that were there. That w- it was very cool. I would have been there, but I was in Atlantic City. Oh, well, you were AC. But it was it was it was something that was very very cool. I really enjoyed playing. I, I played a set. We had a great time. We had some drinks. We had some food. Mike from Noma, who's coming up, he came by to say hello over there, and it never was just. Not had fun at you want to know something funny never about Dudley's? Fun. All the years, I've never been in that room. I've never been to Dudley's. My first time ever. Really? Wow. First time ever. And that was a lot of fun. That was that was an honor to be there with those guys. Well, it That's was a lot of fun. Place, the only thing, person I missed was my boy James O'Toole. I missed him. He uh, he had a birthday party to go to. He's a real neuro king. You know what I mean? Okay. So that was a lot of fun Sunday. You know, again, Tony Sinappi would full with the production. 
He was up doing something with Tia. He, when he was done, we both met there. Mel Nitty is a crazy, crazy animal. She's a lot of fun. <laughs> Mel Nitty in the building. I always say that. She was on the bar at one point. It, it was. Um, oh boy. Oh, oh yeah. It was. Uh, it, it was. It was. Um, something else. Yeah. It was something. It was a lot of fun. Well, you know what? It's all fun and games. You know, you got to go out and have fun. And listen, the the great thing is, is that all of us now at our age, we don't give a fuck. So we're gonna go out. We're gonna have fun. And we're going to enjoy ourselves. So it's not about, you know, everybody has to worry about this and that and this and that. It's all about, like, living, right? You know? Yeah. We get it. We, it some of us have a second chance at life. You got to live your best life. Uh, yeah. And so, you know what? You got to go out and have fun. You got to go out and go, I try whatever to have makes fun. you happy. You I know? try to have fun. Right. Whatever that I try to make it fun. You know, sometimes there's a lot, like, sometimes there's a lot of stress involved. Of course. With, with well, things. you're working. That's different. You know, but we're, sometimes, we're it's, not working. sometimes it's <laughs> just fun. Yeah. You know, like Sunday for me was fun. Right. You know, Saturday, Saturday was one of the best times that I was honored to do that, but it was a lot of, there was stress Work. involved with Saturday. Sure. You, you know, to make sure to be, right. be perfect, to give right. the best mm-hmm. show you could give. No one ever has walked out of one of the shows that we produced and said, oh, the music sucked. Oh, I couldn't no. hear the sound. Oh, Never. the act sucked. It's always, it's always top notch. And what we do, and the reason I was mentioning Louis, and I said back to go back to 2015 with Birthday Blowout, I go, what is the admission? And he said it's free. So That's huge. I have tried. There's been a few. Listen, when I work with Tia, she's a promoter. And I love Tia to death. I love her with all my heart. I'm doing a Halloween show. There's an admission charge. You know, but she puts on a great show. There's right. admission. I said to Louie, we'll always continue to do things as long as we can give it to the people for free. Because I put up old flyers Louis last Nutella, week. Yeah, you mean? I put up old flyers last week and... It shows admission, 15 and 20 after. You know, people have seen, paid to see me play since I was a young kid, you know? I always had good guest lists and my friends, but people have seen me play since I was a kid, and I always, my, my thing was to give it back. Sure. And thank you, Kobe, thank you, Mike, here at, at NOMA that, that allowed that to go on Saturday night with the talent that they had here, the DJs they had here, um... To allow people to walk in this building and see two, in my opinion, two of the greatest freestyle artists of all time, and I have a top ten like of artists. Number one is U2. Number two is Depeche Mode. Cynthia, Cynthia, top. Lizette, Noel, and TKA are in that top ten, mm. and that's how I feel about freestyle music. And you know, I've always loved it. What about you know, Suave and Suave, right? In my top ten, Suave, listen, I love Suave. He's my boy. Yep. I have my personal favorites. Well, yeah, we, we, we love them all, right? I love her. Listen, I, I understand. I w- okay. I gave my, my top ten. That's my personal opinion. All right? So that's what I felt about having both of them here, sure. sadly. It's, it's understood. Sure. Now, if I did a top 20 suaves in it, okay? So that's how I felt about it. Well, I also think that it's phenomenal that there was an album release because freestyle is like, that's like a rebirth right there, right? I mean, obviously it's a freestyle. Well, for them, I, I haven't heard it, but listen, I'm Listen, to have an album, usually when record, you get invited right? to an album release party, me and Mike get invi- invited to a lot. You know, you can either go to Miami and it's private, you get to New York and it's private. You don't get to go to an album release party and get it for free. Right, but that's not what I was asking. I, I, I get that, but I'm saying that... This is a new freestyle song that was released. Yes, that, that they made. It was actually they actually did the song many many years ago. Okay. And they redid it and released it. And no one really ever heard it. If you were, you could probably YouTube it and hear it. But the new one is is, is banging. There's a lot of mixes on it, um, and it's banging. That's so. I mean, isn't that kind of phenomenal? Because we haven't really. I, I mean, are there? Have I missed that there has been new releases? Oh, there's plenty. Listen, there's there's tons of new freestyle artists. There's tons of new music with freestyle. Um, tons of it. Okay. You know, uh, Robert Barco. I, I think yes. I saw something that he's releasing a new freestyle yes. record. Yes. You know, there's 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 a lot of it. That's there's true. there's a lot of new freestyle records. Um, Which and, is exciting. I mean, you know, for the, this, this, those of us that listen, love freestyle, I don't really I don't really pay too much attention to that game. Um, there's a lot of wackiness back and forth with people and fighting and this and that. Listen. Okay. And me and Mike will, 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 you know, pretty much, as long as they don't fuck with us, I don't give a shit. 
do what you got to do. You want to fight with each other. You want to do what you got to do. But if you really look at the, the big dogs that are in the game, mm-hmm. they're not responding to that stuff. They're not, you know, they're not, they're not being antagonized by any of that. And listen, anyone who puts out a record, in my opinion, go for it. You know, if you, if you sat there and put your time and your effort into putting out a record, whether it be freestyle, hip-hop, reggae, you know, Salish just came out with a new record. I'm going to share that on my post tomorrow. Gosh, you know, is. and, and, you know, you, you have, you put that in, you put your heart and soul into something. Listen, if I like the record, I'll support it. You know, it doesn't make a difference here, my friend or not. With my opinion, I, I have my own thing with my, with music. I'm not going to play something I don't like. You know, I've been behind a lot of these people's records, a lot of records that I've played. I mean, Frank C breaks a lot of new those, a lot of those records. You know, um, I, they sent it to me. You know, I mean, Kale has a new record out that not too many people heard about, but I like it. I play it. You know, um, so I'll support new music in any genre, any form, as long as I like the way it sounds. Right. And as far as infighting and people fighting about it. To me, it means zero. Um, um, can, I don't know what that means. There's a lot Who's of fight. There's a lot of people arguing and fighting with the freestyle community. And it's just, Meaning it's not, the artists? With not, not, the, not, not the big dogs. Okay. But some of the, the newer guys are fighting with people, and people don't like the music. And I saw some stuff that Stevie B said, and he was out, out of control. Oh, like point. the hating on the newer like, people? Like the new, I, again, I, I really didn't put too much mind into it. Okay. And listen, I'm a huge fan of, of it. Listen, if you got good music, I'm a fan. Right. So I, and I don't hate on um, none of that. Right. You know, if they want to back and forth with each other and make videos, knock yourself the fuck out. It has nothing to do with me. I'm a fucking DJ. You know, and like I said to Mike, as long as it never affects us, you know, we, we'll never have to respond or never say anything to it. Because again, we're not, we're not, you know, we're, we're nothing like some of the big dogs in this industry. You know, we just play music. We're DJs. You know, we got an internet radio station and. And we DJs, you know, we just play music that makes people dance. And you, you know, come to our shows, you make people dance, you know. A guy from Frankie Colors the other night, DJ Smiley, a friend of mine, came here to hang out the other night. Had a great time, you know, big up to him, big up to him, you know, had a great time. He came representing Cutlass Radio. And look, I, we have no no issues with any other internet radio station. There's never been, Mike Mike put this whole DISA thing together yep. and, and puts a lot of internet Pretty radio awesome. stations together. Pretty that awesome. There's a lot of different simulcasts that people yep. can hear. What Mike does, and Mike, they could hear what, what Mike plays, what they do. You know, yep. he's a supporter of everything. Listen, Mike, the last thing Miami Mike is is a hater. Yep. You know, Mike's a great guy, and, and he, he, one thing about Mike is music. You know, and if you really look at it, music is what makes it go. Sure. You know, and all the back nonsense, that's, that's, that's trivial. To me, anyway, sure. it's trivial. Of course. You know, um, listen, I'm very, we've all known me with my, my opinions. No. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit opinionated. No. Listen. But but it's not it's not about me being opinionated. Listen, if someone comes at me, I have the right I have the right to go back at them. You know, I don't, think you're opinionated. I don't have I have the right I have the right to go back at them if they come at me. Of course. You know, and, and that's my right. You know, and, and I, I listen, I have no issues with anybody. You know, I mean I did not clear stuff up with Eddie and I I with any day, you know, me and Glenn, you know, we I I love Eddie to go, you know. I love that man. He's been in my home in Florida. He's met my family. Great man. I know his wife. Great people. You know, we had a little issue. It got out of control. It is what it is. Things happen. Shit happens. Me and Frank C had a bit. Me and Frank, Frank was here. Frank was there with me on Thursday. That's my brother. I've known Frank since I was a kid. You know, I love that man. I'll support it. I don't care what radio station Frank's on. I'll support it. You know what I'm saying? I'll support anything Frank does. You know, Frank's my brother. That's how I feel about Frank. You know, again, we had a great time together Saturday. We had a lot of laughs Thursday. And that's that's how I feel about that. You know, I mean, look, there's a couple other people I really could, could give a shit less about. I'm not going to go into them. I mean, give them the time of day to mention their name. You know, you want to, again, you, he came at me. You want to come at me, I'll respond. You know, and there's no hate in my, in my blood right now for anybody. You know, just do you, let me do me, and that's how it got to go. You know, if you don't like what I do, you know, again, people that don't, oh, I don't like what he says, I don't like what he does, you know what, shut it the fuck off. Seriously, yeah. if you don't like what I'm doing, and you don't like the music I'm playing, there's 150,000 internet radio stations that you could listen to. You don't have to listen to me. If you don't like my opinion on something, okay, it's my opinion. You know, I, I have, you know, and, and sometimes, I've been said to this, said this by a few pretty big people that said, you know, when you speak and, and you say that, people listen to it. People will hate on someone because you say it. 
So I'm, I'm going to do everything I can not to do that, to have anyone... Listen, if I don't like someone, it doesn't mean you don't have to like them. Right. And I'm not trying to influence your opinion not to like them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So so I don't realize that at some point. And I'll, I'll definitely learn that. I learned that. Listen, I've never been... Listen, I've, been a, I, I, I've done plenty of radio stuff, but it's playing music. It's never where I have the option to talk and I can voice an opinion and I can speak and speak my mind. You know, like like right now, like I'm again, I'm nervous sitting here because I'm like, you can see my fucking face. You know, but me me being in a, a situation where I'm, you've never saw me do a Facebook live. I've never done a Facebook you don't, live. You do them, but you don't put your face in it. I've never That's done. A, I've never done a Facebook live. Well, no, that with the cars. I'm saying I've never done a Facebook live when it comes to my music. Okay. Mm-hmm. I've never done that, and um, I, I just do that for a reason. Like last night, I watched Derek Florin. You know, he was dancing and singing. It was great. You know, I, and again, I'm a fan of his. And I said it to him. He was here Saturday again. You know, I reached out to him Saturday and I said, "Come through, hang out." He's like, "Oh, I'm doing a party, maybe." I was like, "Come through if you want." And Derek came. Another another person. Again, he doesn't play on Miami Mike Radio. It's not like I have to be fans of everyone just because you play on Miami Mike Radio. Listen, I might not support something that someone else is doing that I like if someone else is on. You follow? Uh-huh. Let's say, let's say, let's say, um, Frank C was playing right now on a, on a, another station, and you were on. You wouldn't see me all over his stuff because you're on. You don't see me all over his stuff on Wednesday. Not that he's, I don't love the man because it's it's loyalist on Wednesday. It's, it's um May May Hamilton's night, right. so I'm not going to support. Right. I'm I'm a I'm a Miami Mike Radio guy right. first. Loyalty. You know, so I'm there first. That that's where I come from. Right. Um, but. Again, Derek Florin, last night, I enjoyed listening to him. He was playing some fucking great music. He's a sweetheart. And you know what? And he's a really good stand-up guy. Yeah. Like, we had a good conversation the other night. I finally had a minute. Yeah. And, and you know what? I went and bullshitted him. We were outside. We took some pictures. And I enjoyed listening to him last night. Yeah. I he's really enjoyed. I enjoyed listening to him last night. And um, a friend of mine, you know? You know, you, you meet people as you go in this business, and you become friendly. Like, I've got a lot of friends in this business, you know? And... and, and I'm lucky, you know. Again, I've never been cocky. I've never been an asshole. I've never been, oh, I, I think, you know, because I'm playing here that I'm doing. It's not about that with me. You play music that makes people dance. And all the DJs like to hate on the DJs. I don't play that game, you know. I don't play that game. Oh, music sucks. Oh, his mixes suck. Oh, we can't do this. Listen, I'm not the great. I've never, ever said I was the greatest mixer in the world. But you know what? The one thing I can always say is I, may, I play music that makes people dance. I can program a room and make you dance. The mix might get screwed up, but you know what? Damn, they're going to scream for that next song I play. That's how I look at it. You have to have... And, and, and Surge is the same way. You know? I mean, listen. Surge is a way better turntablist than, I'll, than I would ever been or, or, or will be. You know? But the same way with me. The music. The difference that he brings to the table. The same way, like I say, this whole thing that we're going to put this together is a birthday party in the background or Noma Social. Is that the, what um, that is? A birthday yeah. party? Oh, wait, no, no, wait, no, it's not a birthday party. It's a wedding. reception, wedding, wedding reception. Something. Yes. So. Our condolences. No, just kidding. Congratulations. That's terrible. Just kidding. That's terrible. So, what I was saying, like, with Serge, <laughs> with Serge, the music and what he does, the programming, like, we bring so much difference to the table. And the one thing we're going to see in the near future is it's going to be the 3M party. Okay. Serge's last name is McKilly. Yep. Mine is Mangini. Yep. And you got Max. It's going to be us three. Okay. So we're going to throw a party with us three. Because, I mean, there's so much different stuff we bring to the table. Absolutely. Like, my music is different than Serge's and Mag's. Mm-hmm. Mag's is different than... Yeah. We just have... We, could we all play the same music? Absolutely. Do we all probably have a lot of the same stuff? Absolutely. But the way we present it and play it Style. is just so... And I got that from my birthday party and Glenn's birthday party. Yep. And we did that. Yep. And they're like... Wow, you were great. Well, Serge came on. He changed the whole pace of the whole room. Yep. And then Mags came on at the end, and people yep. were clapping and wanted more yep. when we closed the room. I don't know. Right? I so, was jumping up and down. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. My feet were burning. So man. so that's... And, and, and again, 2 o'clock in the morning, and Mags comes on and hits you with total right. different Bam. fire. Yeah. Like, like it, that's what I'm talking about. See, See that stuff... Yeah. That stuff is... You're like, you don't know what's going to happen next. Right. That's the object of some of these parties. And that's, listen, it just happened to flow like that mm-hmm. on that party. Oh, was that, my, that was Mike's party. 
It was Mike's birthday party. Oh, you're right. That was Mike's birthday. Not you're mine. Right. It was you're Mike's right. birthday party. You're right. And it just, you know, and the energy. And, and with Mags, listen, I've known DJ Frankie Mags for a long time. Frankie's my boy, my brother. Um, but I've always been a fan of his music. I've always been a fan of what he plays. You know, um, there's DJs that I'm really a fan of. Like, I had two of the, my, my, I think they're two of the best DJs in the world sitting in the booth with me the other night, which is Ted Smooth and Eddie B. Swift. You know, I mean, these guys, I mean, a Ted Smooth remix is, is fire. That's all over New York radio. It's all over radio all over the country. DJ's playing it all over the place. He's hanging out with me. Eddie B. Swift, Cypress Hill and all them. You know, you're talking about world. These guys travel the world to play music. Yeah. You know, and they're hanging out with me. You know, yes, they came for the other reason, but they were hanging out. We're just chilling, bullshit. I've known these guys. Me and Ted Smooth, when we worked for Sal and Gungi, see, me and Sal go back a long way. We used to play... Expo, China Club, Country Club, Warsaw, Mai Tais. I mean, you can go down, Exit. You can go down a list of the big New York City rooms that we played at. And it was Ted Smooth playing hip-hop. And I'd play the the, the, the house. Mm. It was, you know, mostly like Latin house. Like once in a while, I'd mix in freestyle, but it was like Latin house. And he'd play hip-hop. Right? And it was something that was completely, you know, when Boricua Anthem first came out. I was one of the first people that had that. And playing that at Expo, I'll never forget it. You know, you're dealing with almost 5,000 people or 3,000, whatever it is. It's thousands of people in the room. And I drop Boricua Anthem, and nobody knows what it is. And the whole place loses their mind. See, that's that's something you don't get that today. Yeah. You don't get that today. Once in a while, you'll have a DJ, oh, what is that? What is that? What remix is that? What is that? You might right. get that. But right. you're talking about a room filled with people. Right, that rush. Like That are like, holy shit, what is that? Oh my God! What is that? Every DJ in the room was like, "What is that?" And that's better than drugs. Like that—that that feeling. Well, is... that that listen, playing a song that no one had back. Yes, yeah, that was fun. But playing a song that no one had, and looking at a room—that's what I mean. That's filled with people, and everyone's yeah. losing their minds. Yeah, is something that's it's a high like no it's, other. Yes, that's what I mean. Yes, and that's why I said it. it's like drugs. You guys are listening to Real Talk with Karen Stacy live on MiamiMikeRadio.com. And we are listening to Mr. Anthony Mangini talking about music, his passion. Um, and I have next to me my little baby, Leanna. Hi. My baby girl, beautiful girl. And then we have Mom Jessica across the way that's, that's incognito tonight. <laughs> and always in the back. Always in the back. And, um, and we are at Noma Social in New Rochelle, New York, there is a reception going on. So if you hear some screaming in the background, it's not it's, just all not, our fans. It's not for us. <laughs> it's not all our fans. <laughs> it has nothing to do it's with us. It has nothing to do with us. They don't know us. Speaking of music, I went to the Vans Warp Tour in Atlantic City. That's why I was there this weekend. And what is... I'm, I'm bad. What is that? It's like all this rock music. I don't know. I don't really... It's like all those... Oh, bands like blink 182 oh okay and like all those blink 182 closed the show they were phenomenal but anthony's one of his favorite songs is wonder wall by the used yes and i sent it to you i saw them perform really i sent you the whole video it was amazing that's a good song today yeah, you you yeah. always and you like to do that when sometimes when you come out you when i come out I'll, I, yeah, yeah. I'll, i've played that or he'll do it like when he transitions from like yeah. one to another like yeah. in the i like stuff like that listen yeah. some some djs oh he stops the music too much he doesn't you know what <laughs> Listen, he stop taking, you know, seriously, I hear that sometimes. Don't oh, stop the music. No, but I hear that, that I don't know, but I hear that, I hear that, that, oh, he stops the music. Oh, he, like, if I want to transition to one thing or change the beat, I'll stop it and play an effect or, and like she said, like, Wonder Wall, so, oh, he does that too much. But you when know? you see Anthony play, he's, like, so invested into it, and he's just, like, ready to mix and like you see his face and I don't know what you turn what is it well like listen what I, what I say to he's that he's just like all in what I say to those DJs that are out there he loves it critiquing me keep sitting in the crowd I'll be good around that that's how I look at it you know not to be a dick but you know you, you got a lot to say come stand up there and do what I do and then you can talk to me you know and then you can you want to critique me you know, listen, we work very hard. People say, oh, he just... I, listen, there are places I get to go and plug my shit in and play. I'm not going to lie. But for the most part, you know, when we do parties, when we do parties, it's... it's There's a lot of work. You know, like a party like, let's say last weekend, Saturday party. That shit was planned for over a month in advance. 
you know, you might not have saw the flyers right away. All the logistics that went into the party to get everybody on the same page, to make sure everything is running smoothly. That stuff starts then and ends when that music goes off that night. Yeah. And then there's, then there's afterwards. It's still clean up Cleaning and whatnot. Up. You know, so it's not just, oh, they, you know, it's a lot of work. You know, so to sit there and critique what I did, or you didn't like, oh, he, he can't beat mix. You know what? Fuck you. I'm always there helping you clean up and wrap and wire. But I'm and saying, stuff. I know but seriously, if someone's going to critique that end of it, critiques. you know, you got you got hundreds of people in the club. You know, listen, back then it used to be thousands. Now in most places it's hundreds. True. You know, which I could accept it. I don't listen. I don't care if there's one person there or twenty thousand people there. If you dance and have a good time, and you walk out of there, man, I had a great time. That's what it's about. It's not about. Sure. Oh, they didn't listen. We didn't sell out Noma last week. It wasn't like birthday blowout, but it was packed. It was crowded. There was people in the lobby. There was people in the hall. There was people outside. There's plenty of people in the club. It wasn't. It wasn't like you couldn't walk like some of the parties you've thrown here. Mm-hmm. But you know what? You got to get in for free. You got to see Cynthia. You got to see Lizette Melendez for free. Hear some banging ass music, mm-hmm. and have a great Saturday night. They don't clip you over the head at the bar here at Noma. It's not like you're getting banged over the head and you know drinks are fifty dollars or twenty dollars a piece. You know, it, it, it's a, it's, we did it for a reason here, you know, and oh, it wasn't packed. You know what? Listen, I say this to these guys. Oh, I wasn't on the party. What? You do a party and show me you could even bring a hundred people and I'll put you on my party. You know what I'm saying? And I'll put you on, you know, it's not about, oh, he puts this one, he puts that. I do it because I want to do it. Mm-hmm. It's not about who's going to bring who to the party. And Mike is the same way. Me and Mike talk about everything, all the steps of the way. You know, and Surge as well. You know, again, there's a few people that sit at I call the A table. You know, that, that we, it's not just me. Oh, I'm going to do, listen, I might come up with ideas. They might come up with ideas. But if I run with an idea, there's a lot of other people that are involved in that idea. It's not just me. It's not just, oh, Anthony's, you know, listen, in the most part, in some of the stuff that I do, yes, I'm overall in charge. And because at the end of the day, I want it to be perfect. You know, I am in charge. And I don't mean to say it in a weird way, but listen, Serge, I call Serge the boss, but when he comes to these parties, he'll say, yo, Anthony's in charge. Serge doesn't have the time to deal with what I have to deal with these parties. Serge doesn't have the time to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He doesn't have the time. You know, he wants to come in. Hey, look, he'll, he's a huge part of everything behind the scenes, but he wants to be able to, listen, the man will work at a wedding and come and play. Yeah, true. You know, he doesn't have the time to put in... I need this this way, this that way, this this way. We're going to do this with this. We're going to do these mics with this. We're going to do this with that. I want the lights to be like this for that. He doesn't have the time to do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and listen, I'm very anal how it comes to these parties. And again, like a Thursday night, I just walk in, I, I, I plug my stuff in, and I play. You know, that's great. It's a lot of fun. It was great. Thursday was insane. And there's a lot of those gigs that I'll do like that. Those are fun. Mm-hmm. But... And it's funny because I said to, to Mike here from Noma, I was like, I like being in charge. I, I like never that. would have gotten that from you. I like being I like being in charge, you know. And really? It's not it's not you know what, at the end of the day, if I book something and say we're gonna do something and I put someone else in charge of it and it doesn't work the way I want, I look like the Then asshole. shame on you. Absolutely. Well I look the, like the bad Well guy. yeah, that's what I said. Not anybody else, me. Of course. Of you know course. what I'm saying? Understood. I wish you could read these comments because you're getting lots of love from everybody. Oh, really? I'm reading along. May May's giving you tons of love. I love May May. You know what? And, and uh, I love let me May May. let me get Bobby back. Cage let me. I love him love too. Bill, I love Nita, Bill. Nita, yo, me and Nita go back from the beginning when Anthony Mangini was uh, a little kid DJing. Well, you guys are listening to Real Talk with Karen Stacy live on MiamiMikeRadio.com, and you're listening to Anthony Mangini. Um, talking about his love for music. Um, and I, I'm going to interrupt you at this point because, um, you know, there's, besides you being a DJ, you are a dad and you are a very uh, hands on dad. So if I'm not mistaken, you now have a legal daughter. Is yes. that correct? So yeah. now. Please tell me what that is like because, I, you know, mine is 10 and I'm already hyperventilating with certain things. So how do you do 21 and a beautiful woman at that? Um, my daughter, her name is Genevieve. And 
she is one of the most incredible people I've ever met in my life. Um, I uh, to, to to talk about her is um, she's she's amazing. Like like she um from when we were she was four and a half years old, we started playing softball. You know, we started wow. we started we actually started it was actually yeah. t- it was actually T ball. T-ball. And it was it was it was kids, Aww, and it was in Henry S. Richards. It was in Henry S. Richards in Yonkers, New York. And I uh, coached a team, and I said, and these kids were young, and I said from from that point, you know, I, I was never. Uh, I'm a fan of the T to practice, but I'm 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 a fan of the T. Oh, you know, you got you got your next guest coming up. Oh, what happened to the signature that. drink? And he and he um, So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this story real quick. I'm gonna wow, finish. She's the more look at than I am. I'm gonna finish. This. So, <laughs> so really quick with my daughter Genevieve. Um, we started at Henry S. Richards in Yonkers. I was getting emotional. So that's good. That's just I, I, um, I know. I we started out I at Henry S. Richards um, with T-ball. By the end of the T-ball season, every kid, boy and girl, hit by me pitching to them because I didn't like Aww. the T. T is oh, for practice. Okay, T is for it. practice to me. Gotcha. Code, the other coaches got pissed, but we we were all right. That's then right. we moved to Florida and we stuck with the softball with um everything. She wound up getting a college scholarship to Flagler, Flagler College, um, and she's gonna be a senior. And she turned twenty one on uh, June eleventh. Yeah. Oh my. And yeah. I made it my business to be back in Florida. And we went to go, and I got to buy her her first legal drink in Florida. Now that that's my question. Like, what the hell is that like? Like, it was the greatest I, feeling in the world. I, I Listen, mean, she, I'm sure she's had a drink before, right? But me buying her that drink is that is that like the only place you ever bought a drink? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's I'm all. I'm curious. I'm curious. Because I don't uh, come to my house. You know, you're my guest. So I, I was just curious. Yes. No. Listen. And and, and look, Mike. Uh, awesome that Mike Mike Noma is here. Uh, Mike DeFalco is going to come up and sit with us for a minute. I asked him to do this. He agreed. He um he runs this Noma Social. And and this this I'll be honest. This place would not exist and do what it does if it wasn't for this man. I agree. And and I'm going to say really fast, just really quick. It was an honor to buy my daughter her first drink. I was glad I was there to spend the day with her. It meant everything in the world. None of the music stuff and anything means anything to me next to my family. That, that's, that's what I'll say. I would say goodbye to it. I almost said goodbye to it once before. I would say goodbye to it in a heartbeat. You know, being 49 years old and still trying to live a music dream is, um, is a shot in the fucking dark. And, and you know what? I still get to do it. I'm humbled by I get to do it. I'm humbled I get to work with amazing people like Mike who allows me to do it and, and gives and gives us gives us gives us everything we want. There's never the, the the word no does not come out of the man's well, mouth. You know, I, I, wait, I, I'm sorry, I gotta cut you off because one thing I have to say is that when I grow up, I want to be all messed up just like him. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even continue. Well, that's what I wanted to say about my daughter, and then I have another daughter. She's up. Uh, she's 13. Angelina, another great softball player. Um, just an Luckily, amazing. They all look like the wife and not him. Yeah. <laughs> Genevieve so, is your clone. Gen- well, Genevieve Angelina is is like the clone. Genevieve's nice and quiet, like a net. She's just like. Oh. Angelina is crazy. Angelina's my Angelina is a handful. No, nothing like the father. No, she, yeah, no, I'm normal. She, Angelina's a handful, but she's one of the most funniest, awesome little kids. Another badass little softball player. Um, works hard. She trains. She does her stuff. You know, we got to get her grades up in school, but she does very well. But she's just a great. Anyone who sees her or is around Angelina just knows that that it's just that fun. You know, listen, energy. Ge- that energy, that laughing, that outgoing. Like Genevieve, like I said, is more this way. But she's a great, funny. She has she has her, her great moments of fun, funniness. But Angelina is just like fucking here all the time, and it, it's just it's all the time. You know, other than when she's mean, and then, then I want to kill her. <laughs> and you might see me on the fucking paper one day. Oh Holy God. shit, what did he do? <laughs> nah, never. Listen. I think we all all around. What did she do? <laughs> Listen, that, that's where I want to go with my children. And it, it, it's, it's the only thing I really give a shit about in the world. Yeah, well, I mean, I just have to, that has to be 
parents, like, you know, and I mean, obviously, we have a lot of parents listening right now. I have the parents looking at me, uh, you know, and, and Jessica has her beautiful daughter always out with her. I... I am such a mom at L. I mean, like, her, like if Jesse leaves, I'm like, where are you going? Yeah. Who are you with? Did you, are you all right? Mother, Can you draw it? I still but call her a kid. Always been, I've always I still been call like her a that, kid. Though. Like, I'm like that with my friends, too. Like, I'm always, I've always been that way. So, like, now with my kid, forget about it. Like, you know, this poor kid. Like, I'm like, why are you breathing like that? Like, what are you doing? You know, so oh, I'm nervous. I'm, oh, I'm like that, that too. You know? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? What's the matter? Dad, I just coughed. I don't like that. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm a, like yo, it. this must be my adopted son, because I'm like that with him. Are you all right? Are you okay? Yeah, he can, is. Can you not breathe like that? <laughs> yeah, because he sees me and I'm fucking nervous. When you're I'm panicking. Like, when I'm like, like and he, you know what? And he, he's another one. today, right? Who, no, like, this is like my adopted child. Like, forget it. And he's another one who relieves me. Like, when I, he'll like, calm down. It's all going to be worked out. It's all done. It's all done. He's as mellow as they come. He's very, like, yes. even yeah. chill, Mike. Yep. Definitely. So listen, I'm going to get up and let you talk to Mike. Um, another, again... I, I consider Noma our house. You know, this is our house, and he always treats it as such. I've never asked this man for anything that he said no to me for. Anything. I mean, except that one night when he told me to come up to the room. I was like, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I had to say no. Like, and well, that's uh, on my end, on my end, when it comes to the logistics of running a night, listen, listen, before we started here tonight, and we're up in the VIP, before we started, and I, I was like, oh, great, like the picture. So this is a perfect spot because they, they, they have a thing going on downstairs, a, a, um, a rehearsal dinner, I believe it's called. And I told there, was, to it, but. there was one of the there was one of the the people that came up here and started talking on the phone. Yeah. So instead of me saying anything, it's not my place saying anything. I texted Mike, "Can you put a rope up here?" And I was like, "There's someone on the phone, and we can hear them." Within what? A second. She was All you heard the was the rope. The, the girl was on the phone. He asked her to get up. N- nicely, you know, can you please get up? This area is closed. Put the rope here just to give us the area. I didn't do that just to give you the area. I, I, yo, she was cute. I needed a reason to talk to her. Uh, yeah, uh, you're taking too much uh, I'll show you the text. Uh, I'll show you the text. Uh, All right. Uh, Take some time with Mike. Learn about Noma. Uh, I'll be back, right? I don't get lost. I'm not going to get I'm going to have a Miller Lite. But we uh, you know what? Maybe I should go to the bar and have a, um, what is it? A Corona on, my dime, on his sure. dime. <laughs> it's always funny because he always says, like on on my dime, I drink domestic. See, we all know, everyone knows what I drink. There's right. not there's not any clue about it. But they don't have Miller Lite here, and when it, but and I like drinking. If I'm not drinking Miller Lite, I'll drink a Corona. Okay. And he always says, ah, oh, on my what is it? On on, on on your dime it's Miller Lite. On my dime it's Corona. Yes. All right. But it's my well spent. So it's yes, good. I love you, Michael. Enjoy this. I know you're excited about coming on tonight. Oh, I, I, Slide I over, and more, I'll be back. It, it, excited about coming on here or sitting next to Karen? I don't know which one. Well, you can stay next to me I, if you I, want I, to. I, I don't know which one I'm more excited about. Side. I want to say for sure. I'm I'm turning. Turning. I'm no, no, it's I'm fine, right? Because I have the microphone. Hey, so I also want to say thank you because Gina just yeah, came to the building. Yeah, Hello, my Gina girl. Gina, Jessica, I think Gigi. Has to be the biggest supporter of everyone that I know. Gigi, yeah. Gigi yeah. and Bill Cole are like everywhere, all the time, always commenting, always tagging. They're always here. Yes, absolutely, and we are always grateful. And Hello. Gigi is always tagging. I don't know. I can't see. I have my contacts in today, so I have no clue what's going on over there. So I'm assuming you ta- tagged everybody before you came. So that's very sweet of you. So now next to me, I have Mike. Hi. Hi. And now Mike was supposed to be on my show like a while back. Right. And I think you had a family emergency. Truth is, I was just really intimidated to be this close to you, so that, that's why I canceled. <laughs> but oh. but now, now that I have Anthony here holding my hand, I, I feel a lot better. Uh, we got frickin' frack here. Mm. <laughs> we got, this poor guy was pacing. Now we, I think that you have a lot, like, you, you, some of the carpet is torn up. I, from I believe, I mean, you know, for other reasons, but yeah, that might be one. <laughs> well, now... So you, this is, for anybody that doesn't know what Noma Social is, we are in the Radisson Hotel, Mm -hmm. and uh, so we have a hotel here, Mm -hmm. so you have, uh, you cater events, right? So you have like So we're we're, we're the lounge, bar, uh, hangout, meeting place for the hotel, but for really a lot of um, 
Westchester. I mean, we're right in the middle. Yeah. We're easy to get to. We're easily accessible from all major highways. Yep. And it's uh, it's definitely a meeting ground for the folks that remember the days past of Marius and Lenny's, uh, BC Stones. BC so Stones. On, yeah. I used to come here on Sundays. Yeah. 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 Sundays. A hundred. Some before that too. Maybe, yeah, whatever it was. But I used to come here on Sundays, and this was the only place you could hear really good music on a Sunday. I mean, you're young, so I don't think you were around yes. at that time. So, yeah. yeah okay. I, I was old, obviously, because I'm talking about it. <laughs> but, um... Oh, you know what I think is really cool? What's really cool? I never cool? knew what Noma was until I read the back of the bartender shirts. Oh, yes, and what does Noma... So, uh, it's north of Manhattan. North of Manhattan. I love it. That mm -hmm. is definitely... It was like an epiphany. It is very cool. Like, that is very oh, cool. So now, how long have you been at NOMA? Uh, going on almost five years. Five years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So have you always been in the um, uh, service industry? Yes. Okay. So you managed other restaurants? Or... Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Um, what? What is that? I mean... There's got to be, and I know, you, you, you know, you, we have to be candid with what we say, right? But, like, this is a lounge mm. in a hotel. Mm. So, like, so many, like, when you bartend, when you do whatever, mm. you know, you may see, you know, uh, Joe and his wife Mary out. And you, you know, hello, how are you? And then the next day, Joe is here with uh, Anne-Marie. We keep blinders on. So, yeah, I mean, it's got to be, I mean, tricky to learn that, though, because, you know, I've spoken to people in the mm -hmm. business, right? And you go over and you shake, oh, it's so great to see you. And then if the, the wife doesn't know you were there, you can't, you got to watch how you say that, right? Because then they know that they were there without them. Yes, but I, that, I think that's what separates a, a professional from the amateur. So uh, anyone that I hire here is someone that's seasoned. Um, some of them have worked with me prior in other places. Uh, this place, yes, it, 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 because it is a hotel, it does require some discretion. I would imagine. Uh, but again, you know, you, you want to make everybody feel at home, but also you want to keep discretion. It, that, that's what's important. So right. make them feel at home, but also don't blow up the spot. Right. Yeah, you can't. But you know what? Sometimes you don't even realize. Like you know, I'm the best for that. Like I always say the wrong. Like I, I just comes out. I was on. Like it didn't mean it, but it comes out and it's wrong. I mean, you have the number one excuse: mistaken identity. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I thought you were somebody else. There you go. See, that's good. Uh, uh, mine is usually. Oops. Did that just? Did I just say that? Yeah, that I was like, oh, no, I thought you were somebody else. Uh, <laughs> you know what? You just, you just look like somebody else. Yeah. That's it. You look like somebody else that was banging some chick here yesterday. I guess I was. I mean, the, 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 the light. The lights are always low. It's dark. I'm sorry. I thought uh, you were somebody else. Yeah, exactly. So now, what do you like? You got to see a lot. I see nothing. You see, I see nothing. Listen, we are not going to get through. This is called real talk. You can't see nothing. All right. All right. I, 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 could, I could see a lot, but I say nothing. Right. Let me. Of let, let me. Let me. Yeah. Let me Absolutely. Change it up. And that's what I'm saying. But I mean, also now this turns into like you know a nightclub. Okay. Know? So we we have, we have a, a a New York Times um, rated menu, five star rated menu, and our chef. And then yes, come the late hours, the evening hours, it does turn into a lounge. Uh, I would say more lounge than nightclub. Right. Um, unless, of course, we have an event here. Unless Anthony Mangini comes here, then it turns into Animal House. <laughs> but <laughs> well, other than that, uh, we, we offer a lot. I mean, there's you know, there's those nights. Every Thursday, we have a salsa night. It starts at 8 with free classes from 8 to 9. Fridays, cool. you know, it could, be, uh, it could be FDR. It could be a DJ. Um, now we're starting a, a pool party after hours on Friday. Starting at six, we offer a, a brunch pool party on Sundays. Okay. So there's a lot. There's something I'm trying to diversify, trying to bring something for everyone. Yes, and I do have to say that a lot of people don't know this, but the food here is off the hook. Yeah, the food's delicious. The food here is off the hook. Can I, I can I say that too? Can you I want to say, say that. I want to say that. Up? Yo, the food here. I, I think you must have said five star chef. Yeah, he's New York Times. Really. Yeah, Yo, did. let me tell you, and we'll all vouch for that. We've yeah. all eaten here. The food here at Noma is amazing. I mean, I think Anthony 
puts on like five pounds every time he visits New York because like he just eats and eats and eats here. But on his I'm dime. okay. I'm okay with it. There we I'm go. Okay. On his dime. He's always he as my guest, but I'm okay he gets with it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Listen, yeah. anything you eat here, the skirt steak is a Miami Mike oh. and my personal favorite. You had that earlier. Well, my dirty, the, the dirty, dirty skirt steak. Skirt. Is, the dirty oh. skirt steak. I had I, that is one of my favorites. Actually, the empanadas are one of my favorites. Well, the octopus too is very good. Sort of and then I, uh, empanadas. I, 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 I'll let you guys talk. I'm sorry. I had. It was alright. You're allowed to hang out. You want to sit on my lap? You feel no. more comfortable? Okay. Do, He'll freaking sit on is my it, lap, and then we'll all have trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you sit on my lap. Here we go. Hey, yo. And that's all, folks. Talk about the food. Yeah. Now he's behind the camera. I had that's behind the camera. That's right. Now he's happy. Um, the uh, what's the octopus? Uh, what is it called? Um, in, in purgatory. In purgatory. I think my breath is probably kicking from it because there's so much garlic in there. It was so freaking good. I need a mint. I don't know if any of you ladies have one, so yes, I'm not making people like you know. Oh, yeah, so okay with so I hope so. Oh, well, if yeah, it, okay. because no, I you yeah. know I'm like no, you're fine. I'm like sorry. Yeah, that was good. See, don't. don't uh, but the, yes, the food is unbelievable. I think I've eaten other things here as well, and I like so everything. I think I've tried every, probably all. The, I love tapas. I yeah. love those little things because I like nice to you pick. Got I love to pick on everything. I'll, I'll eat every single one of them. But I'll, the skirt steak is a meal. No, the steak, the hanger steak. That's the hanger steak is I'm back with that. Oh, now you're back. <laughs> okay, I got to go back again. Um, <laughs> the hanger so steak. Bad. Mike, yeah, me, Mike, and Rochelle had hanger steak one here one night. So I never had that. Oh my god! I didn't have that then. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Thank you. Thank That's you. That's so okay. It's your segment, bro. Hey, wow, hey, listen. Anthony's so cute. He's just gonna keep. I, 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 I love the attention. Don't worry. Now that there's no pressure on him, now he's he's good with coming in. But when it's all you know him, he, he was a little you know. Now he's took a deep breath because you're in the hot seat. Is this a hot seat? I feel comfortable. You said you didn't come on my show last time because, well, because I was you didn't intimidated want to be this by you. Close but, to you know, me, well, so I, I, I mean, I thought it was just a one-on-one. I mean, now? I thought it was just a one-on-one. So yeah. Oh, I see. You couldn't handle me by yourself. Right. You needed more people. No, that's what it was. All right, I get it. Anthony, you know, he 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 broke us. He oh broke yeah, away. forget he it. Broke us in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Breaks everything. It's got. So now, the, my other question would be, mm-hmm. you know, you're here. You have, you know, women. You know, how many women are getting sloppy, drunk, oh. and now what do you got to do with them when that happens? That's a good question. Throw them out. No. Uh-uh. Um, I've been lucky enough not to have too many women get sloppy and drunk. I've had, though, a few situations where in the time I've been here, believe it or not, it's it's the fights I've broken up have been more women than men. I don't doubt it. But, no, I, I've never had a problem where the, the women get more sloppy or they have to throw them out. Other than when they get, you know, territorial and they start going against each other. Right. And so, I mean, I, you know, I, I mean, I think you have an older crowd here, right? So you don't really... I think I have, a, I have a diverse crowd. Sometimes it's older, sometimes it's younger, sometimes it's mixed. I mean, I, I, I can't say I, I can pinpoint exactly my niche crowd because it's so diversified. You... And that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. It's very, and that's true. I've come here, and there's different people here every Mm -hmm. single time I come, except, of course, if it's one of our events and, you know, we have our crew. Mm -hmm. But, But no, you know what? That's why I think, like, for example, okay, we have a a Thursday night salsa crowd, so it's a Hispanic crowd. But then we'll we'll have an Anthony Mangini night, right? But, But Frankie Meggs will close out the night. That brings in a whole diverse crowd. All looking to have a good time. They all intermingle, and more often than not, is no headaches. Just everybody coming out, having a good time, mixed crowds, just enjoying the night. So, what more could you ask for? Good food, great atmosphere, and no trouble. Discretion. I mean, other than Anthony breaking balls, no trouble. Eh. I love you too. And discretion. Yes, thank you, Jessica. Discretion. Yes. Because of the whole. Uh, I have to say something. When we... That's why we don't keep a, photo- a staff photographer. Discretion. That's a very smart... That's very smart. Um, a couple of times, I have actually spent the night here when we had a night... Before I was on the radio, actually. And it was like a big sleepover. We're all on the same row. Everybody's doors are open. It was like when... when like when my husband grew up in a building by Allerton Avenue. You would walk up, it was a walk up, 
When you're not Everybody chilling on the stoop, door. when you're not on the stoop. That's right. When you're not on the stoop, when you're, you're not on the stoop. walking. Every door, every apartment door is open. Yeah, of course. Nobody locks the doors. And but they're open too. So it's like when we're here and we have, it, it's the same thing. It's like everybody's door is open. Who's got food in one room? Who's got the booze in the other room? Who's doing what in one room? Yeah. <laughs> Who's uh, is the door open for that too? I can't I mean, sure. I don't know. I had no part in that. I mean, if they do it, whatever, the door's open. Wow. I can't say for I sure. I missed that time. Um, discretion. Discretion, Mike. And then the door's probably closed. <laughs> I can't say for sure, but it's really cool because you can go upstairs and, you know, we have our little sleepover and then come downstairs. We're dancing, having fun, eating, drinking, listening to music. Some women change a couple of times, right? Uh, uh, the, listen, uh, you know, at, at, the end, at the end of the day, I think that's what just diversifies us from all the other places, whether it be New Shell, Westchester, you know, uh, Lower Connecticut. Uh, you, to every people that come here, they're not just a number to me or uh, you know a dollar sign. Most of them I know by name. If not, they know me by name. If I don't know their name, I know what their favorite drink is, and we just want everybody to feel at home, make them feel at home, and do whatever we can to help out and show them a good time. Do you know what my favorite drink is? An Anthony Mangini, no, uh, uh, Cosmo. <laughs> But, well, actually, that I would... I, I, I have made you a Cosmo before. No, well, with tequila, though. I do a Patron Cosmo, not sweet. See, I remember making one. Do you? I don't remember you making me one, but okay. That, that means it was a good night. If she can't remember, yeah. it was a really good night. <laughs> well, the cool thing is, is that if you come here to hang out, you can get a room. So you don't have to worry about drinking and driving. And that's huge. And a lot of times, whenever we do stuff here, there's a code that we give to people. You always give a discount. Right? Mm -hmm. So we get a discount. Um, you know, I mean, sure. obviously we should all stay in Anthony's room because you that room was already full. I mean, that room was already full before the event even starts. So <laughs> discretion. Good <Mike>. luck. <laughs> I didn't say with Anthony. I said with everybody else. All good. All good. It, listen, it is. It's a lot of fun. The food, like I said, is great. I actually took my father here uh, for lunch one day, and you know, he was pleasantly surprised that the food was as good as it was. So. Um, and my father's a tough uh, crowd when it comes to food. He's, you know, very picky. Um, but, yeah, so we have a lot of fun. So, I mean, what about you? Are you single? What's your deal? I knew that question was tough. Yes, I am. <laughs> you got kids? Yes. No kids. No kids. So you're just single, single. Just single, single. Just looking for Mrs. Black. Yeah, and I'm sure you're meeting her in, in the lounge in the hotel. <laughs> Not Miss Right Now. I mean, Mrs. Right. Not Miss Right Now. But don't bump. You're quick. I like that, Mike. Why? Well, what? What? Quick? Wait. Not not always quick. I mean, just a certain. You see, you're good. You. That's what she you're said. You're good. You're good. Wow. You got them all. They're flying right out. Holy shit. You mm. really are good. That's what she said. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Are we good, Karen? <laughs> <laughs> and you are listening to Real Talk mm. with Karen Stacy live on MiamiMikeRadio.com. We are live at Noma Social, and sitting next to me, Mr. Quick, uh, we got Mike. <laughs> Mr. Quick, not to be the, confused with Mr. Minuteman, there's a difference, but... Absolutely. I mean, you're sharp like a I, I know, I you're appreciate right. it. I'm you're just sharp. joking, I'm just joking. It's all fun and games, so someone loses an eye. Um, <laughs> Whoa. And, and everybody just looked, at, Anthony looked at his phone. <laughs> yeah, I did so. Oh my God, everybody's looking at their phone because they thought they were going to lose an eye? <laughs> no, no, ah, we got yeah. somebody in the crew who does that. Yes, yes, sure. <laughs> I was about to mention his name. Oh, my. Oh, boy. Oh, my. Okay. I was just trying to look at his name. His name's Mike, but it's not Mike DeFalco. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Thank you for clarifying. Oh, my goodness. And cut. <laughs> okay. It's a no. pleasure. No, I was kidding. I didn't mean you. Oh, she's throwing me off, but it's okay. No, I meant, like, okay, cut. No, all good. But what, you know, you want to tell us about Anthony? What is there to say? I mean, it, the man, and if you want to, for me to speak on Anthony, I, I really can't. His performances always say it all. Um, you know, this is family. We have our, our disagreements, but nine out of ten times, we always agree. And what we both agree on, more importantly than anything, is the production of the show. And that's why we always try our best to put the best foot forward for everybody to enjoy uh, and I mean, the man has been doing this so long, 
I don't think there's anybody better that in what he does. And it speaks a lot that so often than not, the question that I've asked the most uh, is when is Anthony Mangini coming back? Hmm. The second question I'm asked the most is when Serge is coming back. So that tells you about Anthony Mangini. He's number one. Hmm. That's uh, awesome. That's awesome. See that? Anthony Mangini, <laughs> baby. My 19th favorite DJ. <laughs> Old school. He got the old school shirt. Oh, Anthony's like, he's choked up right now. Whatever he wants. He you got know. him. Look. He's, he's family. You know, yeah. like, like any good family, we, we have our disagreements, but we both agree on the most important thing is to put on a show for everybody that comes here. Well, let me ask you a question, though. Mm-hmm. You seem like you're very uh, detail-oriented as well. So, you know, he's very detail-oriented. So when you have a lot of, of detail-oriented people that are trying to get to the same thing, you know, there are always going to be those challenges because, you know, you both, you know, everybody thinks a certain way. So it is difficult sometimes because not everybody sees things exactly the same at that moment, although the big picture is there, you mm. know. So that's probably where it's just a little juggling, you know, shimmying a little bit, right. if you will, right? Because you got to shimmy because it's like, well, I want this like this. Well, I want this like this. Okay, but we want it like this. So how, how I avoid that is uh, on, on the show day, I don't answer my phone till about two <laughs> hours before showtime. So Anthony like really starts to panic, and that, that way we're not arguing, but I'll answer two hours right before the show starts, and then we get it done. Huh. And I, I'm sure he'll agree, right? I agree. That's funny. Right? I 100% agree. That is, uh, that, you know what? You are good. You are good. You there's, are good. Any, there's never a clash. And well, when a clash happens, listen, at the end of the day, it's his spot, but we always... We meet in the middle of everything. I, 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 I want to disagree. It's not it's not my spot. It's our home. But sometimes, you know, it's better just to keep a little distance yeah. so that he can do what he does. I do what I do. And at the end of the day, it will always come together. Right. Well, amen. Amen. See? That, it's all good. Well, you guys have to come down. And when you, anybody that's listening, you know, some people came down tonight, which we're very appreciative of. And uh, if you ever come, make sure you go see Mike and tell him that you are an MMR supporter. Or single ladies. I mean, feel free to text me a number. I'm, I'm okay ladies, with that, too. Single ladies, right. And then, right, he's single. So you can do that. Mrs. Right now. No, Mrs. Right. <laughs> Mrs. He's looking to meet Mrs. Right now. Um, but, yeah, you right. guys can come down and ju- just mention that you, you know, saw it live. And uh, heard it on MiamiMikeRadio.com, and he'll make sure he charges you double when you come in. No, <laughs> I'll, I'll, put, I'll put it on Anthony's bill. Don't worry. Just come on in. Well, you're the best. I uh, Thank you. I thank mean, you. I, I only had to wait like a year for you to get back on. I hope it's worth the wait. <laughs> I appreciate you. Absolutely. All right. Who's coming now? Uh-oh. We got a lot of kisses. Yes. No, Jess, you're still not. You're, you're playing. Am I back or not? Are you back? Do you want to be back? <laughs> Aren't I the fucking guest? Uh, I think that that was your name on the uh, flyer. Oh, so I'm back. Hi. Hi. So thank you, Mike DeFalco. Dad. See, that's that's why I want him to come on because that's what he means to me. Um, and that's why we're here in our house. Ha- oh, look at this. Here we go. What do we got? Right here. A Noma signature drink for you, Karen. Anthony said I had to give this to you before you went off here. That's me? That's you. Is that my my tequila cup? No, this is one of our signature it? drinks. Well, we we, we call the cans off. Panties off? It's he insisted I get it to you. A Noma Social signature yeah. drink, panties what off. What kind of booze is in that? It doesn't make a difference. Give it a shot. Here you go. Salud. I haven't Salud. taken my panties off in a long time, hey, so let's see. Let me see. And you're not taking them off tonight either, honey. Oh, wow, that's good. You guys want to try this? It's very tasty. Mm. It tastes like... It tastes like... It's called panties off. Tequila in it? No, it's vodka. Oh, we like vodka. <laughs> I want that with vodka. It tastes like... With tequila, you mean? I mean, with tequila, yeah. That tastes like... Let me... And now I'm going to... I want him to tell us. There's got to be champagne. Where it is he? Like there's Michael! Sh- well, it tastes like there's Chambord. Oh, I love it. Nice. Uh, uh, like sour mix. It's almost like a Cosmo, but it's more tart, right? Would you agree with me? It's like a sweeter, it tastes like there's Chambord in there. It definitely doesn't taste like this. Uh, no. 
Miller time. Anthony Mangini is sponsor of Miami Radio. It's Miller time. Wait, I want one. No. All right. Okay, I, I can't tell you what's in that because our, our cocktail list, no, our cocktail list, so we have immersive cocktails uh, on our list. So the whole principle behind it is that you come in, our bartenders make something that you take off our list, and then the whole game is guessing what's in there. Oh, okay, right, can I tell you now. what I thought? Okay, go ahead. Go for it. I mean, I don't drink vodka, so, I, I, you know, I taste more. So that tastes like there's Chambord in it. Um, I taste like sour mix, Chambord. Me too. Um, and almost like grapefruit. That, those are the flavors I got from there. Okay, the, the, oh, I I, drink I'm not going to tell you all of it, all of the ingredients. Okay, but am uh, I really off? A little bit. There's okay. no Chambord. Oh, okay. Like so that's no cranberry. The cranberry, yes. Okay. But the, the principal ingredient is Stoli Raspberry. Ah! ah. See, and that's the reason Stoli why I didn't know it, because I don't drink vodka. Get some cherry so bombs going. That was why I, I didn't know. Because I was going to say I want that, but with tequila, and obviously I can't have that with tequila because it, it wouldn't taste. taste like that at all if that was what it was. Got it. But it's a very tasty drink. I think mm. that, um, what is it called again? The panties off. The panties off. I could see that. I mine. would say, yeah, because you could I drink those bad boys. After, after enough, it has the tired the effect. Panties, the panties off. I mean, absolutely. It's <laughs> Do you make the name of the drink? I made that drink. Yeah. Oh, that, that's it. One of your worked for me a couple times. So. Uh, there you go. Oh that's my god! I mean, you only, you only do what works, right? You're not gonna right? find Mrs. Right like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. He's Mrs. looking I for look. Mrs. Right now. That's where the panties come off. Hey, look. While we're sitting together again, I heard what you said. Thank you. We worked together, and and again, that was the truth. That our was house. sincere. No, I know Jokes that. Aside, that. I was saw. Sincere. Yep. Hey, there's a lot of jokes with us. There's always, of course. again, family. There's no, this is family to me, you know, for real. This is my fucking family. So a- anything we can do together, we do. And, and you know what? Family, Sunday. Wait, where's I, where's I, you come hang out on Sunday? Sunday. So when did, when did I hear to you about, about helping the, the show here? Yeah. <laughs> What did I, what did I, you, you text me earlier this, this afternoon, right? I, I think I got back to him around 6 o'clock. Yeah. I said yes. I said yes. I didn't even ask any questions about it. We already like, come. I'm like, I'll be there. I'll be there. I was like, I'm getting in an Uber. I'll be there in a little while. I was like, okay. Wait, you know something you didn't touch on? Don't you do private parties downstairs? Don't you have a big wall? Yeah, we I did do. touch on that. You did? I heard that that big wall has throws the best parties. It's a great space. I mean, I think I throw the best parties up here. We throw the best yes. parties up here. No, I'm downstairs, talking about downstairs, like, downstairs, yeah. If you if you if you're looking to do like a, a private party, a sweet sixteen engagement. Uh, Baptism, sweet uh, quinceanera, whatever it is. Yes. Okay, my Spanish is not that great, but no, I, it's, I know what a quinceanera is. That's when you turn fifteen. They, they try to up, they try to one up, they try to one up everybody. I mean, really? No, Karen. No, not for that. Wow, you said your Spanish was off. I said, well, you can get the panties off. Had nothing to do with anybody being anybody's fifteen-year-old quinceanera. Wow, sexual. Oh, perfume. Mike, wait, 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 wait. Wait, did you ever hear? Wait, 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 wait. This came up one afternoon. We were at we were at Hudson Social. After we did a party here, we did a brunch there, and I don't know how this came out of my mouth. And Karen taped this. I tried to describe the Miami Mike. Oh man, the, you ready? Well, wait, you wait, wait. I tried to describe the Miami Mike, like, like the, Genre. the whole experience. It's the whole thing. So I call it sexual deviance, perverts, and weirdos. So, and I, and I asked numerous people through the day, "What do you consider yourself?" I'm just canceling my membership to Miami Mike Radio. I'm just saying right now, as we speak. You're so, so weird. So what would you? Weirdo, weirdo. I'm weird. No, I'm just kidding. I I would consider myself a pervert. What would you consider I'm yourself? With you. Um, a sexual deviant, a pervert, or a weirdo? You have to pick one, Michael. Pervert or deviant? I would go with deviant. I mean, deviant. Sexual deviant. We got a lot of them. He invented the a lot. Oh, and, and you were um, what were you? All of the above. Bingo. <laughs> You're in the same boat as we have a same boat as Rob McCabe. Our oh, boy Rob McCabe. <laughs> Big up, shout Rob McCabe. Oh. I know he's watching. We gotta, we gotta shout out the people we that are watching you, at some Rob, point. Because you know what? You. If it wasn't for them, all the stuff we do here 
True. You know, there's a huge support system. And like I said, the rooms upstairs, even to the pregame. You never, I don't think you've ever been to a pregame in like Lori Ann's room. Oh my God, she brings the best finger sandwich. Dear she God. Really does. She oh brings God. Like, like real Arthur Avenue stuff, like spread and booze. And but you know what? We're going after this. We're going to yeah. Pugsley's. Yeah. We're going to Pugsley's after this. Yeah. We're going to Pugsley's after this. Yeah, that's, my, that's another thing. Because he's treating. Now, <laughs> He's okay with that. He finally, no, he's treating, so that's treating, where we're going. Let me tell you, that finally, the first time I was ever going to go to Pugsley's, what happened when we pulled up? They were closed. closed. Yeah. No, we're going, but he's treating, We got so. some murder burgers instead. Yeah, that's oh, right. We went yeah, to White Castle. I Castles. had those last night. I said it was us and Tony Sinappi. Yep. We went to White Castle. That's, you know, that's the one of my favorites. Yeah, you either get pizza or murder burgers. Ever. That's it. She listens to me, though. Yeah. So, Michael, we do a good show here, man. You run a good show. Stay tuned for the next one. Yep, it's coming. It's coming. There's a lot, lot of things coming here. This is our house. Like I said, we do our shows here. Well, um, I'm sorry. My, my mind was on sexual deviance when you said. It's coming, sorry. I guess, I guess everybody's taking their panties off. I mean, yeah, trying sexual to deviants, perverts, and weirdos. The yep. Miami Mike. Uh, that's the Miami Mike crew. So anyone listening to Karen's show, that's uh, just do it. Listen to her Facebook Live. That's what we hey, consider. Let's give a shout out to Miami Mike, who's not with us today, but you better be with us for the next one. Yeah. Yeah, his son. His son was sick. He's always missed. And uh, seriously, he, he didn't get he on the plane. He's always missed. Miami Mike is yeah. always missed. Yeah, Mike he's always part of everything. Listen, I no one missed Miami Mike the other night more than me. It would have taken a lot of. I, no, no, I, I disagree because I miss Miami Mike because whenever you get like, you know, uh, riled up, Miami Mike brings you that back down. So mm-hmm. like my stress level. Yeah. So like I miss Miami Mike. Listen, too. he's a perfectionist the same way I am, but he'll take it off of me the same way Sanappi takes it off of me. And the problem is, when they're not here to take it off of me, where did it go Saturday? I mean, I like women to take it off of me, but okay. No, but I'm if saying, you're, you're on Saturday, on okay Saturday it, went, it went to you, my, yes, my frustrations. Yes, unfortunately, unfortunately. I didn't yeah. have Snappy or Miami Mike. It's still like that. We had a great time. Yeah, what a great, great night, huh? Can't wait to do it again. Yep. MiamiMikeRadio.com, baby. This is, this is all, and we're in our house right now. We're in Noma Social. That's it. Gets no better than this. Real talk with Karen Stacy. And you know what's the craziest part? You and I have talked for like two minutes, and she hasn't said a fucking word. Two minutes? You spoke for an hour. I couldn't usually, even do a usually, identification. Usually, I had to say, okay, Anthony, I'm going to stop you Usually now. the best part about the wait. I mean, just look at you. It identifies itself. You don't need that. Usually, usually on Karen's show, the poor guests don't get to say a word. Bullshit. <laughs> I call bullshit. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Right, thank you again. Uh, you know you're always welcome here again. anytime. And maybe about you, we'll think about you. Thank you. I, I think I want to drink means after me, please. Can we I, call it I like the real talk? Yeah, that's all right. You know, I'm a. I'm, I, you, you enjoy vodka. I'm a tequila girl. It's gotta have. It's gotta have tequila in it. That's uh, that's my only request. I'm gonna surprise you the next radio show. That's my only request. Deal. Okay. <laughs> See that everybody knows I'm a tequila girl. I'm getting you, watch, a tequila I'm getting girl, a huh? I'm getting a sponsor, and they're gonna be a tequila, and I'm gonna be drinking tequila. Okay, so Miami Mike will have Miller Lite and tequila. Hey, well, whatever the case, yeah. let's do it. Nice. I'm in. How do yes. you bring um? And you used to have uh, it used to hallucinate if you ate the worm. I never did. I never. I, I hallucinate enough in life. I don't. I didn't do the worm. I had a few Miller Lights, so I feel comfortable right now. Hi, yeah. Nita. I haven't. You know I, what? I didn't drink. I'm good. I mean, I had a sip of the. the yeah, I just stole your. That's drink. it. You're, that's okay. We we we're we're family. We share. It's all good. Although I am, I got very hot, Anthony. Is it you? I feel, yeah, trust me, it's not me. I feel very. No, um, it's not me. I, I feel very that as soon as sexual deviants, perverts, and weirdos came I'm, It's not Maybe. me. It's definitely not me that made you hot. All right, is anybody else hot or is it just me? Are you warm? Do you want Anybody them to put hot? an air conditioner on? Is that what you're asking? Are you, you should have asked me. me. Just left. Oh, I'm on me. I'm, I'm like melting. So, um, big up shout my brother Bill Cole. I'm going to shout out a few people. I'm going to look through this real quick. Yo, Bill, a huge supporter of what we do, and I love that man. Good man. I enjoy talking to him. He's a great guy. Great man. Great you know, man. Sarah's doing big things. She's all over Diane the place. Orlando. Yo, Diane, another great human being. Yes. I love being around her. Yes. Um, Christine Moreno. Hola. Yeah, yes. get to see it personally. Hola, Christine Moreno. Hola, mama. Yes. I like saying that. Rob McCabe. Oh, Jack and Coke. Yeah, no one really probably would like Mr. Daniels. We have Mr. Miller, and then we have the other alter ego, Mr. Daniels, and he's 
He's a lot of fun from what I've heard. Who's, who, I don't, I don't know. Well, um, <laughs> he was in Queens that night. When, um, when Anthony, yes, when TK was in Queens, Mr. Daniels was there. Who, um, who's that? That's when Anthony drinks Jack, Jack Daniels. Daniels. Oh, I never when Anthony drinks, that. When Anthony drinks, no, no, and Anthony didn't remember that either. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, that was, um, uh, yeah, that was another. Margaret Donato's 50th birthday party. And we, we, it, was me, Sir, it was me, Serge, and Miami Mike. And TKA. Imagine having that for your 50th birthday party. Nice. Well, I Big upset my boy Rocco Donato. I, I don't know if he's listening, but that was demented. That was demented. And they didn't have... I didn't bring the beer that I usually... I usually listen, I, when, I, when I go somewhere, if I don't bring my own, the place usually supplies Miller Lite. I like Miller Lite in a can. I'm very particular. Yes, you are. Again, I'm, I'm, I like what I you like. You like what you like. There's and nothing wrong with it. that. I'm if the I have to way. work there all night and I have to be there all night, I'm, I'm going to drink. Even a Gigante. Same thing. Miller Lite, um, Havana Cafe. Toby one night, he's like, they took the damn cooler. I was like, where the fuck is the cooler? I, I walk over, I'm like, to Toby, I'm like, yo, he's like, you can't drink that in here. I go, yes, I can. <laughs> and yeah, and he's like, and I was like, no one's drinking it. I don't give it to people to walk around with. It's not like I'm giving it out to the customers. Right, that's mine. So Toby, another another good man. I'm going to talk about him real quick. Toby from, from uh, Havana Cafe. What a really good guy. Great man to work with. Him and Kevin down there in the Bronx. I love playing in the Bronx. I'm going to tell you straight out. Last week in the Bronx was fire. When I tell you, when I tell you, um, big up shout out to Tommy Alvarez. Tonasia performed and bought Tommy Alvarez to play percussion. Nice. And when you have percussion playing with music, sometimes I personally don't like it. Yeah, it can be a little interfering. But this, this time, me and him were just vibing. Hit together, and oh my God! There was cameras everywhere. There was people everywhere, and it was it was really fun. That's it was, exciting. It, listen again, when you we have a club that closes at two, you know sometimes in the past we didn't even make it to two, and when you close at two, you close at two. When you stay till three, three, and you got to throw people out at three o'clock, that's crazy. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Big up shout to the, all the people down in Havana Cafe, all the bartenders, the staff, um, and and of course. Of course, Rob Sleeves. You know, the man who throws a jam, you're the host, my brother. You know, that's that's how we got the gig. You know, big up shout Rob Sleeves. He's got a new track out. I will share that tonight um, on my Facebook. Rob Sleeves, big up shout to you. Um, like I said, Toby. Toby, Toby, actually, we saw Toby the week before at Gigantes. Toby was there and hung out all night. All the guys, Johnny, um, um, Carmine, they were all at Gigante because they knew me and Serge were going to be there at the same time. They were all there. Toby came there from his own spot. Didn't go to Havana that night. Came and hung out with us. Saw the guys. He know he knows the guys from, from uh, Villa Baron Hilltop. He knows Johnny and all them. He wound up at the show, the comedy show, all night with us on Saturday. So not only did we hang out with him on Thursday, we hung out with him on Saturday, and then we hung out with him the following Thursday. It was a good man, really good man. I, mean, I enjoy his company. And big up to all the guys at Villa Barone. What, what Nick, Johnny, what great guys. Carmine, the chef. Ooh, what a great time. And they, they treat you like you're gold up there. Seriously. Like when I say we come here, we want for nothing. Anywhere I go, that's the one thing I can say. Like, like, like Mike made the joke before, oh, I don't pay for drinks. I don't, you know what? I don't, usually I bring my own drinks. But if I want something, they give you what you want. If you want food, they come up to you, you know, you know, lure Gigante. What do you want? Can I? What can I get you? What can we get you? You want anything? We'll get you whatever. Yeah. And I'm listen. I'm a simple guy. Yeah. I'm not. I don't. I'm not gonna sit there. Oh yeah, give me. Unless Serge is paying, give me the <laughs> fucking five pound lobster. And Anthony's gonna go to town. You know, unless Serge is paying. Um. But. But I'm I'm lucky like that. You know, even back in the day, you don't pay to get into clubs. You you, you walk in. You know, you don't know what that really feels like. Excuse me, I'm with the DJ. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> I always, excuse me, you know, I'm you don't know what DJ. that feels like. So it's always been that's one of been always the perks of playing the music, right. playing music, and playing in clubs and and being somewhat popular. I'll call myself. You know, you know, it, it, it you get that perk. You know, and it's always a plus. You know, and and thank you to all the the, the, the places. You know, Linda at Hudson Social. You know, Tia Maria. Awesome people with me. I love her with all my heart. Uh, Frank, uh, hashtag poor Frank. Um, mm-hmm. I love that man. I've known that man. You know what? I know that man longer than I know Tia. Every he time used to you own, put that hashtag, I, I want to He used to myself. own, he was, he, 
he used to own um, polos in New in uh, Brewster. Yeah. yeah. And uh, big up shout out to Frank. I love Frank. I love being around Frank. I like hanging out with Frank. And you know, we don't get to hang out a lot, but we get to bullshit, and it, it, it's fun. Mm. You know, we just laugh. And, you know, and listen, I like to fuck around with people. You see my memes. You see the, the different shit I do. I, I get I get it Surge a lot. Yeah. You know, and Surge, Surge hates every minute of it. But he'll never say he hates it, because if he hates it, if he tells me, oh, don't fucking do that, Anthony, Anthony's going to do it. Ten times more. Mike, Miami Mike knows that Shocking. shit too. Shocking. Mike's just like, just let him go. Make Anthony, can Anthony stop? No, just let him stop on his own. Because if, if you ask Anthony to stop, Mike, Mike's very clear. If you ask Anthony to stop, Anthony's not going to stop. Well, Mike is Mike. Listen, it wouldn't be um, what we're doing right now if it wasn't for Miami Mike. And I'm gonna say that. You know, I'll say that. I'll say that publicly. You know, he's he's um. A huge part in everything we do. My brother, I missed him dearly this weekend. You know, I really, I, you know, what? I had a lot of fucking stress on my plate this weekend because Mike wasn't here. But you know what? His son got sick, and you know that's why he wasn't there. He had a family emergency. And listen, now? he's fine. His son, his son is fine. And listen, if somebody said to me, if I listen, if I had to get on a plane to go somewhere, and something happened to anything regarding my family, I don't care if it was one of the dogs. No doubt. It would be a text. Sorry. My my, I don't care. It was a dog. Yeah. Yankee is sick. I'm not coming. That would be that. There would be no more texts. I wouldn't bother with it. And that's how that would go. It right. wouldn't be. Wouldn't be. It would just be that. Right. Sorry. And I, listen, I I've, I've never tried to miss a gig before, but I understand him. You know, you and this is a gig he was on, and he missed it because his son was sick, yeah. and you know, and and you have to take care of your family first because that's, in my opinion, that's all you have, and you know it as well. Being a mom. You know it as well as I do, you know, and listen, I have uh, two mothers sitting in here, you know, big up shout out to Gina Marie Russo Kosar, we're going to put her on, no one's going to recognize her because we're not putting filters on fucking this yeah. thing, <laughs> <laughs> and Jess, you're going to come on here too in a minute, um, but listen, I'm lucky what I get to do, and I'm honored to be on your show, I asked you to be on your show. You know that. Uh, you didn't ask me. I asked you. Well, um, you knew there was an open invitation. I know that. I know that. And I asked you, and last week, I, again, I'm sorry, I bailed. Uh, it was, it, and you, you, you didn't bail. It, I, it I, didn't I, work. It didn't work. It wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't work for time, and I'm not a guy. Listen, I was here at 7 o'clock tonight. Karen was here at 7.15. Show starts at 8. It's a simple setup. It's not like we, it's, you know, boom, and you're on. You know, it's a simple setup. But we sat here for, what, almost... 30, 40 minutes, yeah, and making sure we bullshit, right. and I, I sat here looking like this, mm-hmm. and doing all my, now I feel comfortable, I had a couple of more lights, so I feel a little better, but before, I, you know how I was scared, I don't like this stuff, and and that's just me, you know, it's just me, um, and thank you, that's what I'm going to say to you, I'm a huge, you. huge supporter of your show, I've like this whole concept from the day one when it was pitched out and you having real talk you know some of the con- comments and content you know I listen I'm I'm all for the sexual shit you know I, I like you know that you know that was a good show well yeah it, I mean come on what, what's nothing like, what's not to like about getting fucked in the ass I mean we're, <laughs> you, so you know and, and you got Karen and you got Tracy Katz and you got the other sexual deviant on the show what and talking about getting gangbanged. Well, that was a different what's, show. What's, what's better than talking that's about a gangbang? That was a different show. Christina, yeah. sex, sh- short, seductive they, shorty. They were, <laughs> they were on the show. Once I didn't even know the girl's name. Together, yeah. I thought her name was Seductive Shorty. <laughs> well, that. Her name is Christine. Yes. Christine, not Christina. Christine. Yes. Yes. My. And my, she listen. And those two girls, Tracy Katz and Christine, are personal friends of mine. Awesome human beings. Listen, my sister hung out with Tracy Katz at, at um at the uh, the uh, Villa Barone show. Okay. And she at the end of the night, she's like, "Wow, she's really fucking cool." She's awesome. Listen, Tracy Katz is a cool fucking girl. She's awesome. Don't do do not get it twisted here. I'm gonna say this about these two girls. Don't get it twisted about the shit that they post and thinking you're automatically gonna get your dick sucked because they're not like that. They're not they're not whores. You know what I'm saying? They're not. 
the, you get the people dudes might get the wrong impression. Oh, I'm gonna hang out with them, and oh, I'm gonna get laid. Right. They're not like that. Right. Well, I that, hang out with them. I don't get laid. Well, that. I'm they saying, know but, but, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm saying, I'm saying, they're not like that. So I'm gonna interrupt you because that was my biggest. I don't want to say gripe, but thing. When we did the show and the two of them came on and they were open about, you know, the lifestyles that they choose or whatever you want, might want to say, a lot of people, you know, were, I don't, I don't want to say they attacked, but there were a lot of, you know, people judge. Listen. Okay. But wait, let me finish. So people judge. And so, you know, the assumption is just what you said. Oh, they're a pig. Oh, they're a whore. That's the assumption right there. When one thing has absolutely nothing to do with the other. That's someone's opinion. Because like you just said, these girls do whatever they do and that's their business. They're responsible. They're professionals. They're soul to the earth type of people. And yes, if you hang out with them, it doesn't mean that you're getting late. You know, no. so but but again, on when we did the show, there was some, you know, the, the girls were open about how they their their lifestyles, and a lot of people, you know, not a lot, but there were people that attacked their lifestyle, if you will, and you know that I, to me wasn't okay. I saw okay. that. Right? I saw that. To me, that's not okay. I, you you may not agree. Listen, there's a lot of stuff that's been on this show. That people have been back and forth with from Absolutely. comments, a comment one one time, a comment made Absolutely. with Mike. Yes, you know. Can I address it? Really quick, Mike made a comment. Did I like the comment? No. Did other people like not like the comment? No. It was made. It was not made on the air. As Mike, Mike was having fun with his friend, right? Who our friend Rob? Rob listen, I love Rob McKay with all my heart. You know what I'm saying? We all do. Uh, we all, you know, he hangs out with us privately. We he doesn't, all, yeah. it's not just, oh, you see him at a party. He hangs out with us privately. Yeah. You know, the, the, the comment was made, Rob McCabe had no problem with I the comment. I understand. So, it, and, and there was a lot of other people that did not, that have children that have autism or Asperger's or whatever, that didn't have a problem with the comment. You know what I'm saying? And, listen, people got offended by it. This is part of life. You know, you get offended. Like the same way with Tracy Katz. People don't like it. Oh, I can't stand their post, so I hate their post. But you know what? That's the first fucking thing you're looking at every day. Yeah. Same pe- same shit with me. And I'm not going to... Listen, when you had... Uh, can I say it? Can I talk about something? Are the Italian gonna, thing. Are we going to go back to this? Uh, there was an Italian thing that was mentioned. I spoke to you about it. We uh-huh. spoke about it. We spoke about... It. it is what it is. And I said... I don't care about the comment. I'm saying to you, I've had, you had one. And all the time you were doing this, you had one. I get, I had 50, maybe more. You know, people, oh, I don't like what the fuck you said. What? So be it. If I feel I have to apologize, I've apologized. Listen, I apologize to Rob Machetta publicly. I thought he, you know, he's doing his thing once a month. I thought, I thought he quit because it said finale and he didn't tell anybody. So I went at him, you know. And he came, we spoke on the phone, and I apologized to the man. He said, I have no issue with Rob Machetta. I like Rob Machetta. I've always liked Rob Machetta from way back. Before, before. See, a lot of people don't realize I've known a lot of the DJs that are on this station from before this station started. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of these guys from before this thing started. You know, Mike just happened to pick the DJs from up here to be on the station. But I've known these people before this started. I have no issue with Rob Machetta. I just thought, I thought he was quitting. Right. And, I, and everyone saw it. Public apology. You know how great was the night when I um played before? I think it was before May May's or their her, their anniversary show or something. And me and Frank C made up on the air. You know, you and me never had a problem with our thing, so there was never an issue between you and I. We spoke about it privately and, and you know publicly. It was never really an issue. You know, you know you say what you have to say. It's real talk. You say what you have to say, and if people don't like it. Again, you had one issue. Now imagine getting it every time. Oh my God, imagine I say something stupid tonight and you're getting bombarded with something. It'll be two. (laughs) Wait till you get 48 more. Then you're just like, ah, screw it. If they don't like, listen, if you don't like what's being said and you're going to get your balls twisted about it, shut it off. It's real simple. There's a button right here that says end or something. Just fucking shut it off. 
you know, the same way if you're listening to me and I'm talking about something or you don't like it, just 200,000 fucking, maybe even more internet radio stations. Go sh- listen to something else. Don't listen to me. Well, I think, you know, I, and I will say this. I have people that, you know, that contact me that want to be on the show. And I say to them, have you heard my show? So some of them have and a lot of them haven't. They just want to come on because they, you know, they want to, you know, get whatever, you know, whether it's a book, whether it's a song, whether it's the, this, they want to talk. So I said, you need to listen to my show. So they're like, well, what, you know, I said, because I am not for everybody. I have a certain style and a certain way that I do things, and you need to make sure you're okay with that. And then people are like, oh, I'm scared. What does that mean? I said, there's nothing for you to be afraid of. I was scared. I know, but there was no reason Twice. For you this to is the be. second time I'm on. I was nervous. But you wouldn't, but you know, and I said to you, there's nothing to be afraid of. I mean, there's nothing to be scared of. You brought up things. I didn't bring them up. You bring things I didn't, up. I, I just said. I'm just saying, I would never, do, that's not what, being real doesn't mean throwing anybody under a bus. I didn't that's throw you under a bus. No, I oh. didn't say you did. I, but that's Jesus my whole Christ. point. That's what I'm saying. There is none of that. But it's a misconception because people think right away, like, I don't know what they think. Like, you're gonna, well, I'm going to, like, attack them? I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, yeah, I say things that are a little off color sometimes. And I address the pink elephant in the room. And it is what it is. But that's me. And like you said, if, then don't watch the show if you don't like that. Because I, anybody that knows me, and you, anybody that knows me, I have never said, if I, I never say anything to hurt anybody. I don't have a mean bone in my body until you. Neither do I. <laughs> until, and you don't. You're her sweetheart. You know. I, until you until come you, at me. Until you poke the bear. You know, so, I mean, I have no ill words towards anyone. I have no ill feelings towards anyone. When I say things, I say them. I would say the same thing to my mother. It's not like, you know, I'm, I zero pe- people out or, you know. So I think that a lot of times people are afraid to speak. And that's the problem is that people don't say what they feel. And everybody holds things in. And that's why I talk about the pink elephant in the room. Because we could all sit here. It's just like if somebody's sitting here and all of a sudden there's a, an odor that comes through the room. We know one of us did We're something. not going to say little right. deli farted. Right. You're just going to be like, you know. But but if you're like, I would be the person that would be like, <coughs> holy crap. So would you I. Know? Like, oh, you know. And, and that's because everybody else is thinking it. But they won't say it. So I'm not going to say, like, holy shit. Who Tina are DeMeo you? said something like that to me Sunday. It's like, you, why did you. What, no, no, not why did I <laughs> fart. What, what, like, what you think, what, when, you, when you think of something, you say it. Like, there's nothing. Right. Your time it's, song. there's you the speak. filter. It, it, it's. And, and it was my grandma, you got a sharp tongue. Yes. Abs- and, and you know what? But anybody that knows where it's coming from. I wouldn't I don't think would take it as a cut. I think they would understand where it came from. <laughs> Kenny Ferrier said, "Let's put my brother." Yo, I went to school with him back, and we we were young. I know him as long as Paul Ventura. I used to cut his hair. Let's poke the bear. I love yo. Let's Me and him are hooking up in Florida. That's Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. He's yep. the best. I, I think Hamilton Czar is watching now. Oh, Stephanie, yeah. hi I'm Stephanie. He didn't come by. What did Ali say? Why can't we just get along and go out and just have fun? Stop the hate. There's no hate with us. Who's Allie, no, my think, friend Allie. I, I think she just meant, like, you know, if there were, like, talking about, like, haters and stuff like that. I don't think she meant it towards anyone in particular. Just, like, can't we all just get we along type but of thing? I, we get along with everybody. Okay. I get along with everybody. Have you and I ever, since we met, not got along? Or have ever had a problem, personal problem, that you and me have had any issue with? I don't think have so. Have we ever not discussed anything between you and I? Not, no, I don't think so. Never? No. Ever, not once? I don't think so. Not once. No. Yeah. Well, we've got to be on the same page. We've we've spoken privately about things. Listen, you might not like some of the things right. I say. And we, I might not like some of the things you say. Yeah. Who cares? But we'll, we'll talk about that. That's what family does. We never, yeah, that's right. I look at you as my family. Aw. My little Jewish part. Shabbat Shalom, Karen Stacy. Everybody's been waiting. Everybody's been waiting. Everybody's been waiting for me to say it. I've had a few things. When are you going to say Shabbat Shalom? Shabbat Shalom. You want to say something to me at a time? <laughs> nope. Palatiano? No? Nope. Yeah. Oh! There it goes. There's the pink elephant in the room. Just don't call me a douchebag, Guido. 
bingo. <laughs> there you go. Everybody, everybody's been waiting for that shit to come up all night. They're all like, when is he gonna say it? You know he's gonna say it. Thank you, Jessica. When is she gonna call him? And- I, mean, I, don't drink. I had a beer and a drink. And I, do I ever drink? I, have, I had a beer when and a drink. When is she going to... When is she... Jessica, that's it. <laughs> when is she going to call him a douchebag Guido? Oh, I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> when is she going to call him a douchebag Guido? Uh, the, uh, thank, you know what? The pink elephant has been addressed. I didn't have... Again, we, me and Karen spoke about that earlier. And I said, are we talking about the douchebag, douchebag Guido shit? And she's like, do you want to? It's been addressed. I was like, no, we don't need to talk about it. I didn't bring it up. Don't want none, won't be none. It was me. I, I'm guilty. Jessica DeLuise brought it up, uh, not see, us. See, she she had one of those freaking take off your underwear freaking Take off your pants. And now her mouth Jessica is going. Je- Jessica's got her mouth is going. Jessica's got, got her underwear on. Jessica's got her pants off over there. Oh, that's all. The party's going to start. Oh, my God. Why Dora are you Jean, what up, Mama? Sweating to death. Christine Milano, I said it before. Hola, Mama. Rob no, McKay, we all love you with all our heart. Cecilia, thank you for always thank supporting you, everything we do. What an awesome human being. Stephanie, I love you. Nina, that was great. I saw Nina on Sunday. I just got, got to meet, I, I know um, her I husband, but I got to meet her kids. Oh, I love her. That was awesome. She's such a sweetheart. Oh, no. I mean, not that I don't love everybody, but she's... I mean, listen, uh, again, <laughs> can't be fair, who's getting laid? All right. I, Leslie Ann. I like Leslie Ann. I love Leslie Ann. I just I have my contacts in today because wow, Anthony, Tia Tia is actually watching. Hi Tia. She she watches. Tia watches. Um, Tia, Tia watches. Damn. I um, she, she got her she got her eye on that shit. She's like, what is he gonna say? <laughs> Hope he says something. Like, yeah, Anthony Mangini on Halloween with D, uh, DJ Miami Mike. We gonna be in the Y O. Tia Maria. <laughs> I love you, Mama. Y-O. I love the Y O. Yo. The when Y-O. I'm on four, grind Yo, it's four, the Y.O. at um at um at the Regency Royal Regency Hotel. Oh, really? Yep. Tia books me. You know what? Tia's smart the way she books it. I love the way Tia books it. She um, I love. Listen, I love being around her. I saw her a few weeks ago at Giganti with Frank. I love Tia, and, and even if I didn't work for her hmm. and do stuff with her, you know, what? listen, she comes and supports the stuff I do and the whole shit. And Lenny got this new girlfriend. Uh, he blocked me on Facebook for whatever reason. <laughs> he oh. blocked me too. Don't he worry about me. it. Hey, what, look. What? See? I don't understand. I know, I know Lenny for a long time. Why did he block me? I have no idea why he blocked and me. It didn't really he fucking bother me, but why did he block me? I don't know. I don't know. And I like I Lucia, like Deborah. I Deborah's a know. nice person. I, I, I like I, her. I don't know. I, did he block Mike too? I don't know. I Who don't cares? Know. We, we, we don't like but I, Listen, laugh. I have no issue with... We I, all want to get along. So I love Lenny. Yeah. I, I, I love mean, Lenny. I, and I wish Zaz Radio and all its three listeners all the best in the world. I mean, <laughs> what do you want me to say? Oh, Anthony. Listen, it's, we all are friends. We all have known each other a long time. and Real talk, right? Yeah. All right. Listen, I say I have minus three <laughs> listeners on, or viewers on my, my Facebook Live. Facts. Facts. Listen. We're we're all friends, and Snapple there's no facts. there's no reason why anyone. When's the last time Zaz Radio anyone? came out of your mouth? Has it, it ever? ever? <laughs> <laughs> all right, point taken. I will continue on. Unblock me, bro. I don't, I don't know why you fucking block me. You know, <laughs> fucking it's bullshit. July thirteenth. I don't know. Um, um Gina Marie Russo co-stars watching. She's watching it firsthand. She's sitting here. Yeah, you know what? But wait, I want to address that now with the whole blocking thing. Let's talk about that a little bit. What is with the freaking blocking on Facebook? Seriously speaking, and now I have people. Now, I don't know from this, to be honest with you. I actually... Oh, people you, block you from the Guido douchebag comment? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Guido. Douchebag Guido. Yeah. Um, but, no, I mean, like, the whole block... Like, I have never blocked people on my... Th- I don't get that. So, I don't understand, like, that whole thing. Like, I'm in the middle. I was actually private messaging. And all of a sudden, I'm like, it's like you cannot no longer communicate. Like, the way I look at it, like, I don't care enough to walk. Oh, shit. I just That's said that. That's what I mean. The, the, the viewers just jumped to, like, three. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you, like, if you block somebody, like, to me, it just seems like, oh, you're so bothered by me. Like, you right. block me. Like, I don't care enough to block somebody. Exactly. Like, social media doesn't consume me like that. Well, that's, but I just, and then the thing is this, is that, you know, they say that too. Like, if you block me on social media, then that... Send it, send it, chug it. If you block me on social media, then that means that when we see each other, 
now it's all right for me to just walk right yeah, like, by listen, you, right? Yeah, like, listen, listen. Lenny, Lenny blocked me on social media. So, like, when I see him, what am I going to say to him? Like, right, that's what I mean. It's uncomfortable. Like, is he going to try to, is he going to fucking kick my ass? I mean, no. what are you going to do? Fucking hate me? I mean, no, he's not I don't get guy. it. No. He's... I think he got mad. I think he got mad because I requested, or I actually sent a friend request. I don't know if I accepted hers or I sent it to her. Um, Lucia, his girlfriend, okay. whose name is Deborah, who I know from way back from the Eminon days and when I used to play. Okay. And she came to the party. I wasn't, I didn't even know they were together. Okay. I had no clue, and I knew her as Deborah. I did not know her as Lucia. Okay. So I didn't know. So I think maybe he, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's her middle name or something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't she know like goes by. I don't something? know. I don't know. Oh. But, but it, great. she's another awesome human being. Uh, and great people. So is Lenny. And I was like, why the fuck am I blocked? I don't know. I don't why know why I got me? blocked either. I, you know, I, bet you, I bet you Tia wishes she blocked her. That's a different <laughs> story. I am. Um, I'll always keep it real. Uh, you know what? Real talk. Yeah, it's uh, but it is real talk because to me, like, let's be adults. If you ha- if, if there's an issue, then talk about the issue, especially if you're friends. Like that's my feeling. Is yeah. you know we all go way back. So at that point, like, if you think whatever, like you know what? Then why is he blocking me though? What did I do? I didn't do shit. I'm not texting. Why'd you block me on Facebook? Right, I'm well, it was wrong. I got blo- I laugh. I'm like, I'm like, why can't I know. get the message through? Like, I just find it funny. Like I said, when somebody blocks you. If you don't act or interact, just unfriend. Nah, I, I, I don't. Listen, I only. You listen, and the people I unfriend on Facebook. Unfriending and blocking. Listen, I will unfriend. Though, listen, I, when I when I unfriend someone on it's Facebook. To get somebody else in, right? Because you have five thousand friends. All right, that, that's listen. That for me. I. I. I did. But but I'll go to someone who hasn't interacted, or you see those glasses, sunglasses posts. Yeah, we got the sunglasses. Oh, the Ray Bans. The like Ray Bans. Or so, you, you can tell like they've been hacked. Yeah. I'll, I'll find someone like that to unfriend. I'm not gonna unfriend someone I of know. Of course, of course. You know, I'm not well, gonna Well, that's do tough that. when you have five thousand friends and you need to get somebody in. That's different. Ah, Fernanda. But, you know, I mean, but yeah. Uh, that's Hi, like, Faye, to Faye. me, this is like you know a little. That's like eight, you know eighth grade. Florida's in the building, know. baby. Who are you talking about now? Um, a friend of mine from Fly. I met with Tia, Fernanda. Oh, oh yes, Faye Faye. I met. She's she's awesome. She's beautiful. She's a photographer. She Dear does. Uh, God, she's I think she sells real an estate. Excellent photographer. She she used to um she used to take photos. At, I don't know. Uh, we met her at, at um I think it was Frank's birthday. Me and Mike. Yeah. We all went there and she met her. To, she's she, she's I met her because gorgeous. she was a she was a follow her on Facebook. She Shit. was a photographer for um. Unfollow for me Tia. and follow her. And she's we, beautiful. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. All right, Chrissy hey, Esposito in the building. Oh, uh, my Chrissy. Yo. Hi, Chrissy. You know what? I hey, love her. Chrissy. I really like that Chrissy's girl. Good that girl, people. I've always, you know what? Chrissy's good people. She's real. She was at, she came down after Giganti on Thursday to the Bronx. I saw. I know. I, I was there she's, when, you know when she got the Bloody Mary the next day. <laughs> she's real deal, though. That's what I like about her. Are you kidding? She pulls 100%. no punches and she keeps it real. That's that's what I like about a woman. She, she's, she's fucking legit. Yeah. I like shit like that. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Seriously, I absolutely. like shit like that. I'm with you. All right. Real talk. Real talk. All right, so now it, it's... I, Anthony, I'm, I'm Angie, gonna to, what's good? I'm going to have to go home and, and to my child. We're, we're, we gotta, we're, gonna, minutes, we're gonna be done? We're seven minutes over. We're already two hours and seven minutes. Diana Orlando, Lenny blocked you guys. Yes, he did. <laughs> and me, anyway. No, oh, no. You. Christy Esposito, please don't block me. <laughs> I love her. She's messing with you. I love her. She actually said, she was one of the people who said I did a good job last yes, week. Yes, she did. I saw that. She said it was the music was banging. Yo, David. Yo, my boy David used to run security with us back in the day. I saw him again up in uh, Villa Barone. My boy David, I love you with all my heart. Just so you know that. Just so you know that. I love being around that man. Nina, another person I love. Lorianne. Yo, let's talk about the boat ride on... Uh, August 3rd. Another boat ride I'm doing July 13th, but Lorianne, we're going to talk about Lorianne's real quick. Is it July, is it August 6th? August 3rd. August 3rd, I don't even look at it then. August 3rd, me, Tony Sinappi, Glenn Frischer, Naomi, and Suave performing. Suave loving me. Oh. Another one, my boy. We, 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 me and him are spending the ball of July together. Yes, you just. Yeah, I'm gonna take him out with me after that. Oh we're boy. done. We're like ten o'clock. We're done, so I'm gonna take him out. Oh boy. Events by Lorianne. Yo, we're gonna be on a circle line around New York City. Can't wait for that. That's something I'm excited about. 
Um, July 13th, I am doing a boat ride. Circle Line again. Um, the Christian Rivera Foundation is their annual boat ride. Dougie Fresh, myself, um, Big Paul, Rob Lowe. That's going to be crazy. That's going to be real crazy. That's going to be a lot of fun too. And, and you know what's going to be crazy about that? My daughter, we talked about earlier, my 21-year-old daughter. No way, she's coming? Is coming with me oh, wow. on the boat ride with her and her, a couple of her friends. Oh, are coming on the wow. boat ride. Wow, that's amazing. H- oh, HR, July 13th. HR's got his hands full that night. <laughs> Anyone who knows HR, he's a friend of ours who hangs out with us and uh, pretty fucking big. You don't really want to mess with HR. He's like, I'm bringing Charlie too. I was like, good. So, poor Genevieve's gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> They're gonna clear it out. <laughs> They're gonna stand outside. I love it. All right, Jen, go ahead, go. I love it. Oh yeah, yeah. I so love that's it. um, that's gonna be uh, July thirteenth, and then another thing on um on the same night with um August third, a Palladium reunion in Long Island, Charlie Casanova, Staten Island, Charlie Casanova, oh, okay, um. MC Romeo, if you ever went to Palladium back in the day, crazy shit. I, I was lucky enough to, to play, I played there for six months. Um, a friend of mine, Bob Caviano, who I met doing a Ritz party for John LaRusso, with, I, I got to open up for Little Louis Vega, which was the highlight of my, I was a young kid, I was a highlight. I met a man named Bob Caviano, who really changed my DJ career a lot, and he put me in the Palladium. And I played at Palladium, you know, I was a little older, I was, I was in my late 20s, and was playing there, and that was one of the most incredible things you could ever possibly think of. And um, I got to play there, so they put me on this reunion with them in uh, Staten Island, the Palladium Reunion. Um, Black Sheep's gonna perform "Engine Engine Number Nine. Anyone who listens to that too, there's another thing they sing a song, "Strobe Light Honey." Yo, yo, don't go. Yo, yo, oh, don't go. I gotta yeah. go. I gotta go. David yeah. Morales did that mix. That's another oh, thing wow. that's, that's really cool. That yes. I play cow. that on my show once in a while. That's another thing that's very wow. cool. So that's after the boat ride, after Lori Ann's boat ride. We're going to actually try to figure a way, and Lori Ann's great like this, because there's no better person at coordinating, coordinating than Lori Ann, seriously. So we're going to try to think of a way where we could have yes. people that want to go awesome. to the to the parties meet at a certain location. Yep. I'm pretty sure we could probably use this. We'll do whatever I ask. Um, we could use maybe Noma. Everyone meets at Noma. They get on the bus. They go down to the city. Get on the boat. After the boat, they go to Staten Island, and then we come home. That would be a, a fun. Cool. We're, we're going to work that out. That's going to be worked out. That's that's like everybody drinking on the bus and everybody having a good time. That's going to be a lot of fun. So um, that's something I'm looking forward to as well. That's going to be very cool. All right. Anything else? You? I mean, because like I, I got it. My kid is probably uh, hanging off my. Let Gina Marie Russo right Costa so sit down. Um, thank you. I'll, I'll say thank you. And bring Jessica up here too. You have to come up really fast. You guys came here to support us tonight, so I'm going to ask you to do me a favor and then finish with a little deli. All right. Talk to them for two minutes each. Give them two minutes each, and I'm going to say to you, I love you with all my heart, and thank you for this. I thank you, sweetheart. All right. Yep. Your 19th. Fa- Did I move up a fucking notch? <laughs> Even one? You made yourself the 19th. I know. I called myself. You you did that. I, I love you. That. That. I love Thank you. Too. you did Honored that. to be on your show. I hope I get to come on again. Uh, we'll see what we can do about that. You try. <laughs> of course. Absolutely. I love you. I love you, Karen Stacey. Thank you so much. Everyone who listened to me tonight over here. Um, I really don't like this. A few minutes of lights. I feel good now. So I, I'm, I'm comfortable. I can do this now. See, now, here's the problem. Now we can do this all night. Right. And Karen got to go. Which is probably, yeah. you know what? For a lot of people out there, probably for the best. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. Gina Marie Russo Cosa in the building. Get up. And wait, you're not going to recognize it because there's no filter. <laughs> Be careful of the thing. Here is. <laughs> Hi, Gina. Hi, Gina. We, we love Gina. For anybody that is out there in uh, Miami Mike radio world and uh, Facebook world, Gina nice. is one of our biggest supporters um, of all of the shows. And uh, she has a, actually, she has an, a Miami Mike radio hat on right now, which she looks apart. very cute in. <laughs> and you know what? So... I'm going to have you, since since Anthony, you know, went over 15 minutes already, 
and since you are probably one of our biggest supporters, I'm going to have you tell everybody the shows that are on Miami Mike Radio. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have you do it. You can do it. All right, let's start with Mondays, Jake. Go ahead. Okay. Well, Mondays we have the Portuguese Prince and the Princess Donna Machia. And I believe he starts at 6 o'clock. Sometimes he goes to 9, depending if it's the month that Rob Machetta is on. And Rob Machetta comes on at 9 o'clock for Mind Candy Mondays. And then Tuesday, and that's, that, that, that's once Monday, a month. Once a month. At this point. And right? Which is next week, the 8th. Yes. Which Rob Machetta will be on. And then we have Tuesdays, we have the fabulous Karen Stacy. Well, thank you. And yes. before, <laughs> before that, though, we have uh, DJ Simply Nice. Oh, yes, he's in the day while I'm at lunch. During supposed to be working, day. and I'll have my phone down here, and I'm listening. <laughs> and my boss knows what I'm doing, but DJ Simply Nice, he goes on from 1 to 3, and he did an awesome job today. Yes. And then um, we have Wednesday. One of my favorites, my first show that I started with, The Mayhem, The Wonder Twins, May May and Hamilton. And they have the new time starting 8 o'clock, and they usually go to 11, but we always go over it depending on the songs and the interviews that the people spoke. And then on Thursdays, um, Thursdays, we usually have Anthony sometimes. He'll play, but he hasn't been playing. But in well, the day, we, we have, have Lu Lukey comes on at 12. Is it? Oh, you know what? I, yeah, I think yes. you're right. I don't have yes. that actual. DJ Luke. But Luke. that I think is he's, also the, the, the ride home. No, Luke is on Mondays. Oh, Luke's at, Monday. at one. Thursday is well, uh, right, Michael. But he hasn't been on, but he's coming. I think he's on this Thursday. Michael Frankie Anthony Max. is on at 4. Yes. And then that's a traffic jam. Yes, the traffic, traffic jam. jam and the wonderful Frankie Mike Mags. Ansalone. And then my, um, Frankie Mags. Frank Mags. It was At Gino, but he hasn't been on. 8 p.m. And then I think Frank Mags, I think he posted, is going to be this Thursday, actually. I okay. saw. Yep. And then on Friday, we have, um, what is it, uh, 8 o'clock, Simply Nice. Yep. DJ Simply Nice starts. And then he ends with Tony the Tiger Snappy. Mm -hmm. That's my name for him. Friday night, Friday, <laughs> Friday Friday night, night sessions, session. which he will be doing this Friday at um, with Tina DeMeo at the Corner Pocket, and they will be having a special guest bartender, Little Dilly, in the house. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. And then Saturday, I think we still have Gazi on it, right? Eight o'clock, eight so. to ten. Yep. And then we usually have my fave, Anthony Mangini, the dance party. If he's not in New York, he usually goes on at ten. Sometimes we'll go to two, one, depending. And then Sunday, we have now Anthony Grimaldi, right. I believe 12 o'clock, yep. right? 12 o'clock, Anthony Grimaldi, he's a new addition to the gang, and yep. uh, we love him very much, awesome DJ as well. Yep. And sorry, I'm very hot, I'm nervous. I'm so. hot too. Wow, well, you did great. <laughs> you did great. I've been doing this for a year and a half. I still got to cheat because I, I don't know what day it is. So I, I really don't. I don't know what day it is. I don't know whatever. The other day, I was walking by somebody. I've known them for five years of my life. They're like family to me, and I called them the wrong freaking name. <laughs> All right, so that's how you know where my brain is, uh, you know, that, I mean, I, I can't tell you how horrible I felt, but sometimes my brain just, it, it plays happens. games with me, and I'm like, as it was coming out of my mouth, I'm like, it don't feel right, like, it just don't feel right. Her name is uh, Josephine, but everybody calls her Joe. So I just had Joe in my head. So when I went to say, I, I said Joanne. And I'm like, it's not rolling off the tongue right. Like, it didn't feel right. And then I went by, and then the, after I did it, like, for the fourth time, she's like, it's Josephine. And I wanted to crawl into, a, like, a, a freaking, like, under a rock. And I felt terrible. And, and it messes with my mind sometimes because I just couldn't put that, to, that thought together. You know, and so I get very nervous. I mean, my mother has dementia, so it scares the shit out of me. But, you know, also I'm 49, and whatever's going on with my hormones, they say that <laughs> has something to do with your memory and everything. So, you know, you never know what the hell's going on, but it scares the shit out of me. So just so you all know, I'm terrible with names. So if I don't know who you are, like, I know who you are, but I probably call you the wrong thing, or I don't know what to call you, I'm sorry. Hey. Thanks. I love you with all my heart, just so you know that. All right, sweetheart? Thank you. Thank you. I already said I love Karen, but Gina Russo-Kosar, a huge, 
huge supporter of everything I we do. I already said it. But I want to say it on my end. <laughs> Thank you. With all my heart. You always share everybody's yeah. shows. Absolutely. You tag everybody and everything. And she you, just announced all the shows just now. I know. I heard it outside. I was oh, you listening did? to it. Yeah, like, she did they had great. fireworks going on outside when we ended the show. Oh, you see that? that? So That's Mike. Like, damn that was it. Mike. Shut, no, just, yeah, Mike, 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 Mike said there's fireworks. So. Mike said fireworks. Shut that Anthony up. <laughs> but thank you so much for everything you do with all of us. I love you, guys. I love you too. I love you too. Yes, much thank love. You. Much thank you, love. And thank She's you. You're my friend for life, and I love you. Jessie, Ernie, your husband, is on, a right? huge, a great friend of mine, you. and I love him too. Thank all you. Right? Thank you. Yes, we, we are very grateful because without, without our Gina's, <laughs> we would never be able to do this. So we appreciate everybody that has tuned in. Thank you guys for staying tuned for two hours and 19 minutes well, you got two more to come oh, we, right. we got <laughs> we, we, we had my, my you. well you know what oh come on thank you let the mother daughter team come up Bye. come on tag yeah. team Mike still has us on the air right uh, yeah I, he does I don't he see does. it not on okay. he hasn't booted me off like oh look you guys all sat down you both sat down at the exact same time too that I don't know how to do angles like my daughter does well I don't know I'm how like to do angles either just come close I know we're Does all sweating. Does remind you of somebody when he first sat down? When I first sat down, I kept looking at the camera. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Oh, look at the hearts. Yes. Oh, look. See, they love us. Hi, guys. What's happening, everybody? I don't know all the shows. I can't listen most of the time because I'm at work. Sorry. Right. No. Tell everybody what you do. I'm a pediatric ER nurse right now. I've been an ER nurse for a long time, but now I work in the pediatric ER. Bravo for what you do. Thank you. Yeah, Big shout out to all the nurses. I give you seriously. a lot of props. No doubt. Thank you. And this poor woman never sleeps because no. she does that all night long and then comes home and drives children to school. And, and I sleep days. And I sleep through events. Like I missed this because I was working. I missed the whole Villa Barone thing because I was working. I can't go July 13th because I work that weekend. I work every other weekend. So I stopped by here. I was off. I'm so happy. I'm I haven't tonight. got. We, we talk all the time, you. and we didn't. We I haven't, haven't spoken talked to you in a while because I just been sleeping. And I get it. Wow, look at all the horror sleeping and working. <laughs> they see these guys. Very thankful to <laughs> Tina DeMeo for pushing Leanna to guest bartend with her, and now she's going to be working Monday nights. I just read on the thread. You got a Monday oh. night spot. <laughs> Monday night spot. So yeah, I'm doing the quarter pocket Monday on Monday. Quarter pocket. Tony Snappy's going to do it live there Friday, which I'm working for, so I don't get to see that. Do you but, know that uh, when that used to be visit. Danny Boys, I used to bartend there. Really? Yeah, I used to bartend there when they when I first took over and they were Danny Boys. You guys came that night and hung out with us. That's right. That you night. had you had the um boss the boss shirt, shirt on. on and and that, I'll and that never was, forget that. That was yeah. It was purple. It was a blue shirt and I was it close. said the boss because you told because Serge was you got Serge to come yep. and you made me give That's him Serge. ice. And Serge, <laughs> Serge doesn't hang out anywhere. Serge Even doesn't though. drink. He doesn't hang anything. out like that. No, no, not at all. And then I remember you saying that to me. But yeah, well, good for you. And Thanks. you know, gotta go by and support. And uh, we also have the, these two ladies right here. If you need CBD oh. oil. <laughs> You gotta look them up. What's your Facebook? Uh, oh, thing? Leanna Deloise or Instagram Lee Deli. Everybody knows. And then Jessica Batista Deloise is hers. Jesse Buaren on Instagram. So if you guys need CBD, it's actually like the number one proven in the world. So like, you won't regret it. There you go. So we well, got everything to offer to everybody. Whatever you need, we got it. So if you need it, ask us. We'll let you know. Our people will talk to your people and, you know, we'll make it happen, right? Yeah. And we'll tell you the truth. And we'll keep it real. Real talk. We'll we keep will it keep, real. It real. keep it real. Bingo! We yeah. will keep it real. Hashtag bingo. Hashtag, oh my. All right. Well, I love you all. Thank you guys for coming and supporting and making this fun. I want to also say Yay. thank you to Anthony. Oh. I do have to uh, say thank you to Anthony, too, because you know what? Mm -hmm. I told him when he wanted to do the show, I said, listen, I have no AC in my she shed. And I said, let's do like a pop-up or something. He goes, I'll, I'll make it happen. And he did. He made it happen. And we were here. Well, no, but this is our house. And well, this is all our house. Even though I'm sweating my balls off right now, um, I that has nothing yeah, to do with anything. Oh, God, God. Oh, look. We're taking a... One more. A selfie. Oh, filter? 
No filter. Well, filter. 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 See, this is what it's all about, family. And the next pop-up show we do, you guys Damn, need to damn, come damn. down. Go. You need oh. to come down. And you don't have to come on if you don't want to. But come on, this is fun. All of them had fun. I highly recommend the panties off-track. That was really good. <laughs> yeah, I don't drink, good. but that Yo, was really good. Thank you. Thank you, Noma Social. Thank you, Colby. Thank you, Mike. Mike DeFalco for letting this happen tonight. Absolutely. Karen Stacy, I love you. Miami Mike, my brother, my family, thank you for letting this always go down and dealing with all my crazy shit. We missed you this weekend. And that's that. That's it. Much Done? love. Much love. Much, Much love. love. Peace and blessings. Miami Mike Radio. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We love you.